Oh man, good evening to all those out there, whether you're watching this live or well, after the fact. Hi, I'm Clintworth, and ah, oh, welcome to my haunted hangouts. Typically, I usually do a lot of things for tabletop RPGs and running guides and all kinds of stuff like that. And every once in a while, I try to take a break from the rigmarole of doing all that to sit back and hang out with you all to really enjoy well, the things that brought you here to me, the things that brought me inspiration to make those videos where we go and try out different games, try out different horrific experiences. And mm, today, I am very excited to go and show you all a bit of a playthrough through a very unique uh I don't even know what to call it a tabletop, a tabletop, no, role-playing game. It's it's more so a role-playing story game, if anything else, called Alice is Missing. Now, excuse me, if you, <laughs> I should have preface with this whole stream that today has been a bit of a rush, so much so that I am actually still, in fact, finishing my dinner. So I might I'll make sure the mute, you know, you're hearing the kind of me, my munchy noises. <sighs> Or was I going with this? Ah, yes. So, Alice is Missing is a very unique storytelling and role-playing game where you and four other of your friends all play out different members of a, of a friends group in a tiny little town called Silent Falls. And three days ago, your, one of your most pivotal friends, Alice, has gone missing, and there's no one who knows what's what, not what the mystery is there. But here's the kind of fun twist to this very unique uh, game, is that there is no talking, for one. We do play the entire game over, well, a text chatting. Uh, two, there is no game master. So we all kind of build a story up ourselves as we go along. Uh, <laughs> uh and oh hi in King, hi how's it going? How's it going? No, well that's a good glad you brought that up. I don't that has been a big thing why I wanted to stream this today because uh, as you pointed out, uh, let's see there's a name I found across the name. Ah, oh, okay. So I was wondering who that was. Um, what was I gonna say? Ah, yes. But with and yes, there's no game master, so it's all really played along as well you and your friends make up the story there are cards that come in at random intervals but the key thing is is really to kind of build the story together now what that kind of means for today's stream is that i wanted to give you all uh, an idea of what it'd be like to be a player so i'm gonna i'm gonna be talking on my side there are no my friends are gonna hear that so i figured okay give you a perspective of one side of this unique title and i also really wanted to bring up this game because check this out do 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 this game is currently on kickstarter for its uh new expansion that's gonna be ending in five days so if you like anything you see today i would recommend go checking it out go over there and yeah give it a little looky loo see if you know it might be the your kind of thing and if it is hey go back them because frankly this hobby this well, even just this hobby, it's like creators in general should be supported, and this I've heard a lot of fantastic good things. Uh, now the game time we that we planned to meet up at isn't for another uh, nineteen or so minutes, so I wanted to take that time to actually meet you guys beforehand to well give you a rundown of the players. The characters that we made up of today's game, show, story, uh, you name it. Now, the characters we have are five in total. There are, let me go and get the proper list. Here we go. They are uh, made up of Charlie uh, Barnes, the kind of long distance friend. They used to be in, you know, Silent Falls, moved away, and happened to come back during one hell of a crisis, crisis situation. Uh, Charlie is me 
to be uh, played by my friend, Mr. Memento Mori. He has been on a few streams where we play, play spooky games together. But uh, more importantly, he's the guy who usually often helps me get a lot of my B-roll for my videos. So he's a, he's a fantastic, fantastic friend. Uh, we have Dakota Travis, Alice's best friend. She is going to be played by, I believe, I want to say, yeah, uh, my friend Nate, who, I'm not sure if you remember this, but uh, b back during my uh, Riddler, get your creator guide, I, I showed off a role-playing game called uh, Dungeoneering. Well, that's Nate. He, he published that. He wrote it. it. That's him. He's the creator. He's also a part of a uh, fun little kind of, you know, still getting their uh, legs channel here on YouTube called Tabletop Rocks. They play a lot of one-shotty games like this together, and he's a fantastic game master and overall generally good guy. Uh, then we have Evan Howell. But remember, he is... <laughs> no, I, I am, I'm not sponsored by this L, no. I am just showing off my love of all of this for the sake of this loving, you know, this game or this hobby i'd like to be sponsored one of these days but today is not that day but hi reg <laughs> oh yeah yeah no he's i think he's actually uh got yeah he's i think he's planning him and his, his uh channel tabletop um or i think you're planning planning to play a session of it sometime soon i'll double check later but more importantly if you want to go check out their stuff like everyone i you see here today or i should say read today I do have their links down below if you want to go check them out. I don't highly recommend doing that. Uh, next up, we have Evan Howell, who is uh, how to put it. Uh, <laughs> Evan is another is another close friend of Alice, but is kind of like the one crushing on Alice hard. I'm going to go into a little bit of reading about these files in a hot second. But they, Evan, are being played by my friend Natty, who I've done a few streams with uh, for Haunted Hangouts. And we're a part of the Game Master uh, Gauntlet, I believe, want to say. Uh, yeah, they play, They showed up as a uh, yeah, Shade and um, someone else. Oh, yeah, they, they were the, a Monday. They played both of my uh, the Dungeons & Dragons games. Natty's a good friend of mine, like a sister to me. And... I'm kind of interested to see how she and I role play against one another today, and you'll see why in a hot second. Uh, next, we have the character Jack Briarwood, who is playing Alice's older brother. Jack, uh, not Jack. Um, no, Jack is Briarwood is Alice's older brother, and they're being played by Noobsteak, who is also plays a lot with me in some of these haunted hangouts. Great, hilarious guy. He was on the. Um, Kids on Bikes game, back during the gauntlet. Zany, zany man. I can't wait to see what he does with this. And I'm playing a character by the name of Julia North. Alice's secret girlfriend. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm playing a lovely lady today. I mean, all these roles, for the most part, were uh, kind of chosen at random. And this is the one I got. And that's fine, that's fine. I kinda, I'm kind of looking forward to stepping in the shoes that someone that's really not me. Uh... <laughs> That's a Genesis reference. Okay, creating. I'm trying to think what I'm going to say here. Um, yes. So, I've got, another, I've got another 14 minutes. Let me go through and show you what some of the backgrounds we've made for these characters. These were all done in the last 24 hours. So, for the most part, you are coming into this as, I want to say, blind as I am in terms of just seeing this world being made up as you go along. And remember, as we do go through this, I wanted to really create what it would be like for you back at home to be a player in this seat. So, but more of that in a hot second. Let's go and take a look at some of these character descriptions. Now, starting off with Charlie. Now, we all have changed our names to reflect our characters to make it a bit easier to figure out who's who. But let's see here. Uh, Charlie. Charlie lived next door to Alice and Jack and essentially grew up with them. He is a little older than Alice at 17 and is currently in his senior year of high school. He has a medium build, shaggy black hair, and is nearly blind without his glasses. He does well in school, but would do much better if he could focus. His parents divorced last year, and he chose to live with his mother down in Southern California, a few hours away from Silent Falls. 
Uh, background question. What kind of teenager is Alice? Alice is a pretty normal teenager. She is friendly and known by essentially everyone in the town, but doesn't really belong to any specific clique other than our group. She does well in school and volunteers at the local elderly home. I sh should mention that uh, these prompts come with our character cards when we get handed them. Like here, let me show you mine. So when you do get to play this game, you get you get one of the five predetermined characters. In this case, you see the top there, Julia North, me. Hi. You'll get your little background. It's followed, followed by a little secret that kind of like you know will fuel most of my my play as we go along. Um, so that's where he got his prompt on you know describing who Alice is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, 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 that's the cool thing about this. Not only do the developers M King uh, have digital assets, they have a full-on Discord bot you can use to play with your friends online, which is how we're doing this today. I am very excited about that because I always love when developers kind of take – you know, a hobby that's usually, you know, yes, better for people in the same room, but make it so you can play it anywhere in the world. I mean, what's not to love there? And the game itself actually only, you know, it's not that long at all. It, it goes, it occurs over an hour and a half long period, which the developers also help you work out by providing their own little soundtrack that you can bring up on YouTube, which I think is what we're going to do today. So, yeah, there's so much to go and gush about this. I'll probably, you know, my plan is, you know, go through the game with you all, hang out with the friends, you know, wrap it up, but afterwards probably get my final thoughts on this. So kind of think this is a little bit of a, yes, let's play, but also a little bit of a kind of a, my own little review towards it. Could be cool. Uh, but with Julia, I was asked, uh, tell us a little bit of when you and Alice first met. Well, before I get to that, let me tell you a bit about who Julia is to me. Oh. This, by the way, is who Alice Briarwood looks like. Um, actually, the game comes with multiple different missing person posters, so you can like switch it up. Yeah, yeah. If it isn't you know clear yet, this game is highly replayable. There's so many ways, different ways to kind of like shuffle things around. I'm excited. Um, Alice here. Let me try. As you can see, uh, lovely lady, 5'8", 128 pounds, brown hair, hazel eyes. And I'm not sure if the number works. I would not recommend calling it just for the sake of, you know, <laughs> excuse me, getting who knows what. Anyway, Julia. Do, 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 do. This is what I wrote yesterday. Julia is a hot-headed grease monkey with an oil-soaked heart of gold. Standing at six feet tall with long brown hair, light brown skin, and a slightly muscular build, Miss North looks like she would be more at home underneath a car than in her own bedroom. The fact that that oh, the the fact this also acts like the fact that she also acts like she's in her twenties, despite only just turning sixteen last month, doesn't help the poor impression most adults have of her. From the poorer side of town, Julia grew up as the only daughter in a family of seven. Being the oldest sibling to her four brothers has molded Julia into being fiercely protective of her loved ones. She would fight the world if they needed her to. Consequences be fucked. By the way, I, yeah, with us playing a bunch of teenagers, be ready for F-bombs galore. Yeah, should throw that at the start. Oh, well, I'm not really the streamer to be child-friendly. Anyway, uh, in school, she is passing most of her classes barely. And only really applies herself in shop class. Uh, college is the last thing on Julia's mind, having already accepted that she's going to end up working for her father at his garage. Uh, my question was, once again, tell us about when you and Alice first met. It was in detention, believe it or not. <laughs> Julia was there for giving the high school quarterback a nasty black eye. He called her a cunt, so she made him look like one. Alice tried to help stop their fight and accidentally knocked over a trophy case for her troubles. Julia felt like a bitch for getting wrapped up in the mess, for getting Alice wrapped up in the mess, and offered to give her secondhand Chevrolet a tune-up. But fortunately, or fortunately, the rusty death trap with wheels ended up needing more than just a day's worth of repairs. 
Two weeks later, the girls were riding it out to their first date at the local drive-in. And I had a follow-up question of, uh, as a secret girlfriend, whose idea was it to keep it secret? I wish I responded in character. Mine. She's clearly too good for me. Plus, I don't want some bitch-ass prick to give her hell for not being with a guy or whatever. So, yeah, that's my Julia. I wanted to... I kind of based it on my motivation on this card here, which was, you fear the worst for Alice. Jump to conclusions. Make conspiracy theories and blame yourself for her disappearance. So I wanted to kind of figure out why I would be so quick to jump to conclusions and hot-headed. And that's why I got my grease monkey. <laughs> Sparks by calling her... Call her country. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's go and meet Evan, though. Evan, I think, will probably be a bit of a romantic rival with my girl, Alice. Evan is a light-hearted, generally happy, go-lucky 17-year-old who stands at around 5'8", with short black hair and slightly pale white skin. He's a bit on the scrawny side, definitely not the type you'd see on the football field. Instead, he spends most of his free time talking up babysitting jobs around taking up babysitting jobs around town to earn some free spending money. While he doesn't turn much of a head in the school, most neighborhood parents know and adore him because oh, he's just so good with kids. They think he is a hoot. Because of his focus towards his babysitting gigs, he really has time for homework and thus his grades suffer as a result, but he generally seems fine with that. When he's not babysitting, however, he's only daydreaming or admiring his longtime crush since middle school, Alice. Uh. They are generally good friends, though. Obviously not in best friend territory, but still, he firmly believes that he has a shot with her because, come on, who doesn't like a guy who makes you laugh? Mm. Background question. Tell us a rumor that you've heard about Alice, but don't quite believe. Evan has heard that Alice may or may not swing in the other direction. So to say, Evan is the type to say, I'll believe it when I see it. Some say that he's simply determined to win Alice over. Others may say that he's in denial and simply too stubborn to give up. Ah, uh, uh, there's Mr. Mendemento there. There's the man, the myth legend himself. Hey, <laughs> Maury, we'll see you in a, a few minutes here. I'm just giving the people at home a quick rundown of our characters. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's see. I personally kind of saw it in my uh, mind's eye kind of like early 2010s in terms of where I'm least envisioning this myself. But yeah, definitely modern times. <laughs> um, I should um, bring up the kind of one ironic thing I thought was kind of fun is that Natty and I are basically playing against our who we are. Like, I'm a cis male and she is a... <laughs> uh, uh, a lesbian and it's kind of funny we're kind of doing whoop swapping roles there and playing romantic rivals this is going to be interesting and probably a bit more than that <laughs> uh, yeah well, well we'll see we see we don't know like this is all we know for the story so far Reg. it's kind of cool um, but moving right along da -ga -dung, da -ga -dung, da -ga -dung. All right, let's go meet Dakota, Dakota Travis. Once again, this is Alice's best friend. Dakota Travis is 16 years old, her birthday, a day later than Alice's. Their moms met on the birthday, on the baby mo mother unit of the same hospital when they were both re recuperating, making Dakota and Alice best friends since birth. Same daycare, same school, same everything. They talked almost every day since they learned how to, just, to, just the way they like it. Dakota has always looked at the Briars as her real family. Her mom and dad had issues growing up. They married mostly due to, to Dakota being born, which meant they married young and relatively unplanned, a fact that would drive their divorce when Dakota was eight. She hasn't seen her dad since she was 10. After he moved practically across the country, might as well have been to a different planet. The divorce was messy, and it molded Dakota. She's not a bad kid, you know, like Julia North or...
Julie will remember that, Dakota. Or whatever. But she has a tendency to <laughs> relentlessly prove herself. Uh, this manifests as her taking the lead of everything the girls do. All of Alice's firsts have been with Dakota. Well, almost all her first. Even best friends have secrets, right? Uh, his Their background question was, what about Alice do others sometimes find annoying but you appreciate? People don't like a nice person. Everyone has to be sort of, I don't know, mean in a way. Alice never brought into that. She's like nice, relentlessly nice. Just a generally good person. She sticks up for people and a lot of people feel like that she's fake. But that's just Alice. I love her for it. She's the best part of me in like so many ways. What? No, <laughs> not like that. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure I know if my best friend was in the girls. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why do I get the feeling? I'm going to have more than one person after my girl. <sighs> okay, okay, good to know. I can certainly uh, talk up a bit more about the game as go along there. But thank you for the heads up, Maury. Let's see. Do, 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 uh, Let's go meet our last character in this growing group of friends. Jack is an awkward 18-year-old who can't seem to get it together. With a perfect sister like Alice that everyone loved, Jack often found himself the third wheel. Once again, Jack is Alice's older brother. Oftentimes, Jack could be found at the school gym trying to get yoked for a basketball session, but couldn't make the varsity team at Town Falls until his senior year. What most people knew is that he that after his workouts, they could buy cigarettes off of Jack behind the school gym. While not the best prices, it was their only choice until they, they too turned 18. After, 17, after his 17th birthday and getting caught with cigarettes from a senior by his parents, the Chevrolet he kept barely running was passed on to to Alice until he turned 19 as punishment. Ah, so that's how she got that rust bucket. This is what I love about this game. I put my prompt down first. I did not coordinate it all with Jack's player stake on it. He uh, built off of that. Like, mm, it's little slight little details. Looking forward to this. Uh, with one of his only friends, uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. With, only one of his, with one of his only friends moving a few hours south of South California, so that would be Charlie, uh, he started getting closer with his sister Alice and her friends to use his old car and at least have somewhat of a social life. And their rumor question was, tell us about why you and your sister's home life has been so difficult these last few years. After getting caught with cigarettes, uh, the Briarwood family was busy pointing fingers at each other over the responsibility of Jack's transgression. As a result, many dinners have been eaten in separate rooms with Jack and Alice eating alone. While not divorced, their parents certainly thought each other was at fault for not raising Jack better. It seemed to be getting better until Alice went missing. Hmm. <laughs> Live in the rust bucket all you want. You can go from here to Shelby, Shelbyville and 12 parsecs. That is loaded with references. I'm, I'm here for it. Now, Memento, if you're still watching, I would recommend... See not here for too much longer because I'll probably look at some of my secret stuff. Although you being in charge of the Discord, you probably can just click on it at any time. Uh, pardon me. Ah, thank you. So I need to figure out a few big things here. Uh, first and foremost, and then we'll do this together when all everyone's ready to go in a, I guess another half hour. The first, well, the last few things we need to do is one, establish relationships with each other, uh, a little bit more than we have here. You see, one of the, the things we're given is that you saw the card earlier with my, you know, my motive and relationships there. Uh, well, you saw the motive underneath that was relationships. And I have to basically give out these two to the people I'm playing with. So I don't think you like me. Which, at this point, I'm kind of struggling with who to put that to, because that could be anyone. <laughs> or, uh, as well as, I always wanted you to be my friend. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, 
Either way, thanks for popping in for a little bit there, Mori. I'll see you in the game. But as far as we're concerned here, friends, <laughs> I don't think you like me, and I've always wanted you to be my friend. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we, we I'm, no. I'm going to stay on this stream and in through the setup, through the start of the game, through the entirety of the game until the afterwards. I mean, a little bit, you know, there on after that. Um, not sure how long it's going to be. I can't, I guess we'll find out. But more importantly, yeah, no, no. You're going to be seeing everything from my perspective. And I'll probably be, you know, talking about it a bit more out loud to give you my train of thought as I'm playing Julia and as well as just reacting to what I'm seeing on screen. So, yeah. That, at least that's my game plan. So, yeah, no, 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 no. I was just saying, because if, if Mori's leaving, Memento Mori, wanted to make sure I was friendly, you know. Either way. But during this next bit of setup, I'll need to... Yeah, yeah. Assign these relationship details to the two of those other characters separately. Um, frankly, frankly, I was thinking of giving, I always wanted you to be my friend to Alice's, excuse me, best friend, uh, which would be, once again, do, 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 I want to say, it was Dakota, Dakota, yeah, that's her name. I keep forgetting. I won't be by the end of this, I will get these names down. I mean, I'm pretty bad to begin with at remembering names. More of a face guy, so mm. let's see. Let's do, 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 do. But the other thing is, I don't think you like me. I'm, I'm tempted to give that to. Hmm. Maybe Jack. No, 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 because... Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, that's one I have to wait to the sign to see what other people, you know, if any, give to me. <laughs> but, you know, I think... I think Julie would, would secretly always want, you know, Alice's best friend, her, practically her sister, to like her as well. I think it'd be kind of a nice little fun twist to their relationship. Yeah, but... Hmm... I don't think you like me. Yeah, maybe it would be Jack. The actual real family member. Yeah. Might, might do that. Let's see how that goes. But the other big thing is, and normally you would do this by yourself without either, you know, friends or players knowing. But before we start the game, the last thing we all do is record a voicemail. Basically the last thing we kind of sent to Alice before she disappeared. And we don't listen to those voicemails until the very end of the game. And we all have our own separate prompts, once again. And mine is, uh, you fear the worst for Alice. Jump to conclusion, no, that's, that's, that's my motivation. Here it is, the voicemail. Uh, she didn't call you last night when she got home. So, I've been thinking long and hard about that voicemail. I think we'll go with the the route of frankly I'm gonna be in a fight and considering how I wrote it in that uh, Julia doesn't want to like reveal their relationship because she just worries how other people would treat Alice she cares care about herself I might make that the fight that Alice wanted to finally you know come out in the open about it but here's the big 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 big, big thing I should bring up now is I do have a secret that I also need to reveal at least one person during the course of the game, and that's the thing above the voicemail here. I recently got an anonymous message from someone regarding your relationship with Alice. What specific detail was the most creepy? <sighs> there are so many avenues. So many. I could build off of for that. I might go with, I don't know, I don't know, because this game is kind of cool where it does have uh, hard lines that you establish with your friends beforehand that you cannot cross, 
to make sure it's like well that everyone's comfortable that's the big thing you don't want to make your friends uncomfortable when you're trying to have fun or experience some form of entertainment even if it is you know it could be terrifying could be scary even could be emotional you know what i mean and i think the ones you kind of set briefly beforehand were let me go find it uh da, 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 da. let's see it's right here Maybe I didn't get it down. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I can always bring it up again when they're actually in the call. I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna wait to actually do the message. But the big thing here, I want to read off that Maury posted earlier. That's kind of you know a good caveat to keep in mind as you play through this game. I think which kind of you know perfectly encapsulates what really you know to kind of expect and why I think this game is worth you all checking out or playing yourself at home. And that is if you're gonna find it. Gosh, we talk a lot. Ah, here it is. Uh, Alice is missing is less D and D and more cooperative storytelling. The best games for me have focused on rich character interaction and development. Since the actual progressing of the mystery is largely out of the character's hands, be sure to emphasize during setup that your characters are not responsible for, nor will they be able to, solve the mystery. The game works best, I feel, when everybody focuses on the reactions to new evidence, theories, speculation, and character interactions. You're all here to tell a story, not to win. And considering my set with my character, I'm kind of very excited about that. Because I play too many, I play a lot of games with these folks that are kind of like deduction games, secret role games like Mafia or a Werewolf, or even like the Blood on the Clock Tower game I mentioned during my Thing video. But it's kind of fun to be put in this place where not only is does the game encourage us to not figure it it out, but more so kind of like don't worry about this nation, worry about the journey oh i'm excited for that because julius will be all about i'm gonna be i'm gonna be up in arms up to conclusions rolling my sleeves up beating up probably innocent folks if i can i don't know all i know is that i am thrilled to be here and to be a part of it <laughs> okay so it looks like that for sure we are starting i want to say hop okay Call, the call is starting at around 7.15 my time, so that's going to be another eight more minutes. And we'll start the game probably 15 thereafter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do a brief break. I'm going to actually finish my supper and join in the call, and we'll take it from there. Sounds good? Sounds good. Okay. So I'll see you in a brief, okay, now I guess <laughs> five minutes. I'm talking too much. Anyway, see you in a few. And boop.
Thank you for that. Okay. And we are back. Hi. Okay. Well. I see people are starting to gather. So I think without any further ado, let's go and join them and start to know a bit of the people that we be spending the next hour and a half. Well, I know them, but you'll get a chance to know them a bit better. Okay. 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 And here we that, like, go. The there we go. I, uh, I was telling Natty, like, if you're playing the game, like, in person, or, uh, like, on Roll20 or something, um, like, there are cards that, we just essentially get two cards that have, like, a number on the back, mm -hmm. and you typically have to, like, keep track of the timer, so you can, like, flip over the card, um, and do what it says. That's how, like, the story kind of progresses, and, like, uh, suspect locations get introduced. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure, based on the documentation, the bot will just message you, uh, the card when the time comes and like some cards require you like to flip a coin and the bot should handle that as well if it bots doesn't, are then... fucking crazy man i know and, like this was a, this is technically an unofficial bot like like they advertise it on their website but it was made by like a third party person who i guess got permission um so it's very cool it's it's interesting that you have to like send them proof of purchase to get it <laughs> authorized on your server but you know you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do. An unauthorized bot that requires authorization. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I did not know that. That it was yeah. fan-made, but developer-supported. That is... That is fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, one of the stretch goals that they just added was, like, for an official Discord bot. But I'm hoping what they mean by that is that they're gonna make this bot the official bot and pay the person that made it, if they haven't already. Because uh, otherwise that would be weird. That'd be kind of uh, uh, messed up. Hi, yeah, hi, but... Flint. I'm gonna try not to curse like I usually do. I'll be a good natty. Oops, I don't curse. But like, the developer is active in like the Hunter's Entertainment like Discord as much as the publisher for the game. So we'll see. <laughs> but like, yeah, they they do plan on adding like the expansion stuff to the bot once it releases. So that's cool. Kind of like when Destiny first came out, and they had like all those uh, those web pages that like would tell you like the spawn times of uh, or potential spawn times of random events, depending on like what events were happening on your server and when. Yeah, I like and those. Those still exist. Like I still use a third party. Like I use, I still use Dim to like manage loadouts and like transfer items without having to like go back to the tower. Do you? Can you change it from like a third party then? Like mid raid, you could like go on your computer, switch screens, and like tap that you want to switch to you know, like Jollerhorn from. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's it's super useful. Uh, and like you can and then you can like make a loadout. Um, and like, was muted for transfer that. everything uh, in that loadout and like apply the mods and stuff all from the game. All from Dim. volume was still. That's really cool. I mean, like I guess like now that I'm thinking about it, like imagine if you will. A universe where like you had it set up for like a uh, a stream labs to like automatically switch your weapons for you that'd be sick so like you're like facing uh you're like on the leviathan raid and like it's like just as soon as uh what's his face is like going into his uh, damage form you want to uh, and you like yeah you can swap to like your highest uh damage weapon like i remember back in the day it was that grenade launcher right that was like the one that everyone preferred for that raid yeah well so like if, if you use dim like it, it can move an item if you're in the raid it can move the item from your vault to your character but you have to manually go into the menu and assign it okay i thought it could automatically like change your special or like change your primary no like if, if you're sitting in orbit um, or like in the in the tower, I think it can it can actually. <laughs> it can you, but it, All right, I'm gonna. Ready, you can just move it into your inventory. A hot second, there we go. 
So yeah, um, these guys are just kind of like talking random stuff, and I don't I really want to bother too much more on the volume, considering that you're not really going to hear them for majority of tonight. It looks like we're just waiting on. Looks like what's her name? Dakota. That's what we're waiting for. Dakota. It's not like they have to say, like real life stuff. So you need like eight minutes. But yeah, hope the sounds at least a little bit better with them. And I lost connection. That's not good. I lost connection, connection back. Good. Thank God. Oh, there is a snowstorm going on in our area right now. It's why the prior stream got, well, delayed to Monday. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, tick me off during today's show. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see you how things are going. Oh, see. Oh, I'm a, I just switched mics, by the way, so uh, my voice is low. Yeah, I meant to tell you, Ryan, that like you, the the mic was fine and all, but you sounded like an entirely different person. <laughs> it was because I've been using my uh, my mic that's like not a part of my headset because I was playing D and D and I was like, Nah, you're not tricking me with this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't hearing that noise. You know, also, considering how kind of quiet and low it was, it kind of worked. A little bit better for you, because Mr. Cheap Ass No Car. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Then again, yeah, you're, you're actually not really talking, so what am I? What am I thinking? <laughs> I well, I, I keep I'm forgetting not cheap. that. My parents punished me. Well, maybe you should have made better choices. Well, <laughs> cigarettes don't come cheap. <laughs> uh, so I, I posted, uh, I, I, I reposted the game guide in OOC, so it kind of just goes over. Some of the general information um so the game takes place on saturday uh, which is the first day of winter break um everybody except charlie who you know moved away uh starts the game knowing that alice was last seen on wednesday which is three days ago um the voicemails that we record or in dakota's case has recorded unless you want to redo yours nope. um okay. take place before um we know that she's missing uh if you want to message somebody like with something out of character uh, you could just use parentheses so that way they differentiate and you can reply with parentheses um that way people know it's out of character um there are safety tools as i mentioned before there's like the lines and veils which we'll discuss um and if somebody says anything that like you don't want to explore further or that like you just don't want to be in the game uh, you can reply with like a parentheses x or x and the content um and then we'll just rewind pretend that that wasn't said and now bring it up again um it is okay to have moments where nothing happens um like if the group chat goes quiet that's okay um s stories take time to digest people need time to come up with you know to process information and come up with a response um and you can also use that as like an indication that maybe you should head over to like one of the one-on-one -on -one chats and like start developing that a little bit um this game is primarily a storytelling experience. Um, it's about the story that we tell and the world that we build together. Um, so the real meat of it is going to be those one-on-one -on -one conversations in the group chat. Um, two characters can never be in the same place at the same time. Um, that's pretty much solely for the, the whole cons like concept of the game working. If we're all just like, hey, let's go over to the Briarwood house, we have no reason to be texting each other. Um, right. And then it's it's not a silent role playing game. I'm, so, in, I'm yeah. in the bathroom. I'm um, in the bathroom if, texting you. If you do, <laughs> if you do ever find yourself uh, going to the same location, come up with a reason and a story to like why you can't meet face to face. It would still be like if you both decide to go to the uh, the Drip and Dagger Club to do some to search for something. Uh, maybe you're on different floors or um, right. just keep missing so each other. Shit. Exactly. So no um, fist fighting, guys. Yes, we are all talking to Jax, and, like, it's important to remember that, like, we are a group of friends, at least friendly enough to all have, our like, each other's numbers and be in a group chat together. We might not all be, like, the closest, but on some level, we're all familiar with each other enough to be in this group chat together. Can I throw friendly rocks um, at people? You are not in the same space as them, so no. Uh, Unless you got you, uh, a hell of an uh, arm. You can, uh, you can, like, asterisk, throws rock asterisk. Like, you're at if you, you're at Charlie's old house. And you're throwing a rock at uh, Jack Briarwood, but you have to text about it. Yeah. I have a super important question. Yes. Um, considering that it's kind of like a group chat, it, it uh, could we use like gifs? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hell anything, yeah. 
anything that you can do like in a regular like text conversation like through like iMessage or WhatsApp or whatever you can do in the game that's really fine if you want Fuck to send yeah. gifts you can, you um, can do that heck yeah sorry um, what? <laughs> that's one <laughs> Um, Sorry, try. You're fine. A quarter in a quarter in the natty jar. <laughs> Through, throughout the game, uh, there will be clue cards sent to you. Um, that's what I was talking about before. Normally, if you're playing in person, you you would have the cards in front of you, and they have like a time on the back, um, mm -hmm. and you would need to like keep an eye on the timer and flip that card at the time and do what it says. Right. Um, the bot should automate that. They should it should assign the cards randomly and then message it to you in your solo channel. Um, when your time comes, if the card requires you to flip a card, uh, like to flip a coin, the bot is supposed to handle that for you as well. If not, I think you can do like exclamation point flip to flip another coin or just flip a coin somewhere else. It doesn't matter. Um, but it, it's okay. Like if your card is the 45 minute card and you flip it over and you don't know exactly what to do with it just yet, like at, that's fine. Like you, you can take your time with it. Uh, just try to get to it before the next card comes up. Um, and I believe it's like 90 minutes, 80 minutes, 70 minutes. Also 60 minutes, coin. 50 minutes, and like 45, 40, and then it kind of like gets tighter from there. Uh -huh. um, but like, that's okay. Just don't feel the need to like answer it right away. Just bring it up at some point. Um, Another sure question. You... Yes. Uh, I noticed that, uh, well, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. You, you, you continue for, you continue first. Okay. Um, uh, the important thing is, the other important thing is to make sure you tell everybody the information from your clue card. Um, that doesn't mean you have to like bring it into the group chat right away. If you want to discuss it with another with another player in this in the one on one chat one on one chat first, like if you get a card saying like somebody sent you a message about or somebody sent you like something about Alice or like with a picture of Alice, you might want to like go talk to somebody else first before bringing it up into the group chat. But you want to bring it up to the group chat eventually, uh, only because like these cards typically have like a requirement to draw a suspect or a location card, which the bot should also handle for you. Um, and those suspects and locations all get shuffled. I, I assume also by the bot um, at the end and then a suspect and a location are drawn and that's who's responsible and where Alice is. Um, so it's important for that information to be spread so that way we're all on the same, living in the same coherent world, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, after 90 minutes, the game ends. Um, like when the timer hits zero, you can send like one, one last message, but after that, the game is over. Um, no matter what happens at 90 minutes, we'll know who is responsible for Alice going missing, where she is, and we'll find her in some some way. Um, the game can be pretty heavy. Um, there's no there's no guarantee that there will be a happy ending. Even if we find Alice alive, people might people could still die. Like that's just part of the game. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, if your character does die and that can happen in the game that was gonna um, be my question yeah, actually if, if your character does die and like say like you were going to uh the White House to me today to check something I'm... and like something happens to you there and you die <laughs> kind of interesting. um you have you can me you should message the person who is going to be going there to follow up to check in on you um with like how they find you um because otherwise they won't know so like I don't want to give an example because so I don't want to put that bad energy out into the world. Uh, say Charlie goes to the lighthouse and he dies, um, and then uh, Jack is going. Like, we haven't heard. <laughs> no, of him, no, I'm no, no, no. Uh, this is definitely not kids on bikes. I would message Jack with like parentheses telling him what happened to me and how he can find me, um, and then that kind of also builds the world a little bit. Um, you don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to, um, like unless the card says, unless your clue card says you have to go somewhere. Um, if, if it doesn't tell you to go somewhere, you don't have to. You can spend the entire game in your house if the cards don't tell you to go anywhere. Um, if you do go someplace and you can't and you don't want to like think of something, um, I think you can do the exclamation. I'll like I'll after we, we pull this down, I'll like list all the commands. Um, I believe there's a command like exclamation point searching, and that'll draw a searching card, and that'll kind of like give you an item or something that you might have found there, and you can build off of that. Um. Going back to the 90-minute the thing, uh, you do want to find a way to reveal your secret to at least one other player, if not the whole group by the end of the game. So we all have secrets on our on our cards. Um, I originally listed all the cards for all the players when we selected, so like that's com that's like group information. It's not like a, it's not like a secret secret, but like 
there's there's a difference between player knowledge and obviously character knowledge. So like we obviously know all the like the secrets, but the, the characters don't. So like any other. I actually did not pay attention to that at all. I totally ignored it. <laughs> so I don't know any of their secrets. Information that actually leads you to Alice until um, we hit clue card triggers. Uh, to add on to that, you won't find Alice's phone or a card or a car unless you draw a card stating that you found it. Uh, that's only there because there are cards that say you find them. And if you're like, oh, I found Alice's car like 50 minutes in, and then the card comes up, it kind of breaks the world. Um, right. The whole dang thing. Yeah. Um, leave the suspects collapses. in the location cards. You reveal face up. I I think... I, I obviously haven't used this bot before. This is the first time I'm using it. Um, so it, I think the suspect in the location cards might go into the important channel. Uh, like, the documentation wasn't clear um, for us all to see. If not, just, like, post who... Like, what suspects and location cards you get, like, in that Huntress channel. Um, that way we're all aware of it. Um... I, I kind of jumped the gun. If any, like the, the character hurt or kill thing is there, um, that's good. Uh, we already went over that. Um, and when the timer hits zero, you can write one last message and then the game is over. Um, once the game is over, we'll go into like a little debrief, um, kind of just like an emotional check in to make sure everybody's okay. Because uh, again, this can go into some heavy territory. Um, and then just like kind of wrap up any loose ends that didn't get wrapped up in the actual narrative, like just out of, out of character. Um, kind of try to wrap things up in a bow then just discuss the game for however long we want but it doesn't have to be yeah. long um that's the real brunt of it uh, do you guys have any questions uh i have it's less of a question and more of a request but it is going to involve flit having the to mute the stream for a second <laughs> sure i i can just go over here and do this then Hi. <laughs> do, 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 do. I probably should go be listening to this. One second. You were basically asking no certain words that they rhyme with. They can't hear me. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, guys. Something that will not come up in the game, not a single time. Like once we say it, like once we establish this line, mm -hmm. we're just not going to go into that territory at all. Um, a veil is something that can come up in, in the game, but we won't like dwell on it. We won't. We're not going to like go into. It. So say, for example, spiders. If you don't like spiders and we line spiders, spiders will never show up in the game. Not a single spider will be seen or, or mentioned. <laughs> um, if we veil spiders, we might mention that there's like... A All the music a there, is go taken go directly from YouTube's you know, audio library. <laughs> it's on shuffle. Um, I, don't, I don't have the list. I'm, um, I'm here at the site. I'll have to like... Uh, if you give me a timestamp later, I will <clears throat> get you the name of it. Um, and victim blaming. Victim blaming. Uh, so that's what they recommend. Is that stuff that you're okay with veiling, or you like any of those lined? Yeah. Uh, just to I mean, double I'm check okay again, with that stuff being veiled, like in the sense of like we, it's alluded to, and we're not like going to dwell on it. Yes. Yeah, then that's fine by me. Okay. Yeah. Just to it, check real quick, it, what was the? Because uh, I I was, I think I did when you mentioned it. Um, what were the like, the line? Stuff again, but not, not, said, not, not what it is, but like what or what is considered like lines you do not cross. We haven't, we haven't set them yet. Uh, oh, now okay. you just said that like they don't want any kind of like dropping of of the f slur in the gameplay, which I, again I don't think any of us would do. And I just wanted any, to put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted yeah. to put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there aren't any NPCs to drop that, so um, we should be good. <laughs> I, I would sincerely hope. Um, 
I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. Uh, but anyway, is there anything else that you guys would want failed or aligned? Um, I think just, like, I, I don't think this would come up at all, but, like, anything that's, like, referencing, like, children, like, act like children, children getting hurt. Okay. I'd prefer to, like, kind of line. We can line that. Uh, I, I didn't I don't think it until I had a son, <laughs> but, like, I am extremely triggered by that. Yeah. Oh, I I'm don't... the same way, man. Don't worry. Okay, yeah, I no, know that's... Me. Yeah, never gonna do that. Yeah. I don't, like... I don't think any of us would have brought that into the game. Like it doesn't even no, seem like. No, and I don't like, think it's gonna come up. This in the realm. Really, like high school life is strange yeah. sort of vibe. So like exactly. I'm not too worried about it, but. Uh, but we can absolutely line that. No, no mentioning of young children or anything. Yes, like toddlers. No harm. Yeah, no harm befalling any children. Um, I think yeah. another thing I should mention just real quick. Um, none of us, none of our characters will ever be responsible for. What happened to Alice? Like that's not part of the game. Our, none of our none of our characters are actually suspects or anything. You can be suspicious of other characters in the RP, but like that's not right. It's it's not going to be one of us at the end. Like that's not the kind of game this is. Got it. Oh, it's not uh, going to be one of us. No, sorry, Jack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound disappointed? <laughs> hey. Jack, what the well, fuck? there goes this whole voicemail. Hey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> not your brother, bro. Uh, not your a, bro. A, any other lines and details that we want to draw, or are we good with just that? I mean, that feels fine. I don't know if okay. there's anything. Anybody else have anything specific? Like knowing all of us, I don't think like this, I I don't foresee this being a problem. If it if something does come up and for some reason in that moment it bothers you, just use the X card. Yeah. Um, and just let us know. Um, like maybe even just put it like in O C chatter. Be like, I've X carded this. Don't bring it up again. It will yep. obviously. I, I adhere to that. Yeah, I think for for the most part, like for the most part, I think we're all pretty tolerant. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I should totally play Clue at some point. I love that game yeah. and the movie. Yeah, I, I think out of this entire call, the one who gets triggered the most is me. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I think I'm gonna be okay. Uh, well, speaking of which, do you want us to like uh, line or veil any of like your other like? descriptions because especially if you find us dead uh so like no the thing hangings. is it's like i can i can handle like I'm, I'm getting better about it i'm getting better about it so long as i don't see an actual fucking picture hecking yeah. picture of it That's i'm too. fine <laughs> yeah so like wow we've already like <laughs> veiled gore so like we're never gonna get into the weeds of like any kind of gruesome descriptions this isn't mm -hmm. the zone uh we're not gonna go into like full horror um just like PG-13 horror, let's say. Uh, maybe, like, a light R. Um, like, in subject matter, not horror. Yeah, uh, no horror at all. <laughs> not horror. It's actually really well, of course, you know, game. both the board Sorry, game guys. and the movie. Uh, so, We're uh, just playing Pretty Little Liars. I love that uh, classic kind of, film. Yeah, I guess. I've, I've, I've never seen the yes, show, but... Yes, there is a movie. <laughs> it's a yeah. classic uh, so, uh, comedy you movie. Flip a coin um, and it flip it for you, the here, let's get this through a hot point. second. I have to show you this. Reg, I'm about to blow your mind. Um, but yeah, it stars a slew of fantastic old school actors, including uh, Jim Curry. But the, yeah, here. There's the poster. It's kind of wild. It's What I think is amazing about it, though, is a real quick side note, is that the movie actually has technically three different endings that when it first came out they would you know broadcast or premiere or, or uh, play them in theaters with different endings so you actually could go and see different stuff but unfortunately never took off but but fortunately you can go and watch the entire series of endings in any kind of vhs dvd copy check it out it's really great let's get back to the game <laughs> Put lines in there. Um, for the hunches, we're each going to take two cards. Um, if you want to take two people, I, you can. It might be easier to take a place and a person. Um, and these are basically just like rumors we've heard as to why this specific person or place might be, might have some relation to Alice going missing. Uh, we are not going to go like super in depth with it because like that's going to cut like the the depth comes from the the game and when these cards come up. Um, some of these cards might never come up when we're actually playing. Um, some of them might come up more than once. So, like, it, 
like when it says to, to draw a character card, you might get CJ Wallace, and then the next time you might get CJ Wallace again. That just stacks the deck that it might be CJ Wallace being the person responsible. Extra creepy. Exactly. Right. Mega creeper. Um, Mega but, creeper. <laughs> uh, but first, let's go ahead and handle the um, relationships. So you, you should each have two. Um, it's on the motive card, like the drive card with your motive. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you do assign both of these relationships, but you have to assign them to different people. I feel like that's kind of easy because, like, the relationships are kind of one generally nice one and one not so, like, not mean one, but, like, one not as nice one, you know? Like, one kind of negative one. Um, so you want to assign those to different people. Or a poopy guy. Um, just as a uh, tip for people, one thing you can do is you could right-click on somebody. Like, if you're on your desktop, you could right-click on someone and add a note to their, like, you know, they can't see it. So, mm -hmm. like, you can add note. Like, I can right-click on Charlie, and I can add note, and then just say, like, one of my relationships, you know? Oh, I don't just, I've never done that before. <laughs> yeah, so I have a note on, um, and I think it's just server-based. I don't think it, it spreads okay, to other yeah. servers. Oh, uh, yeah, I said, uh, if, if, if you right-click on them, like, in the, like, online person, yeah, like the roster. On the, on the right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that could be very useful, too. Yep. If you want to do it that way, uh, you can obviously do it however you want, but that's how I'm going to do it. Um, and, like, uh, while we're assigning well, these, it, it, it's okay to kind of, like, if you're not sure who to assign it to, like, maybe, like, mention, mm -hmm. I have this. Who do we think, like, who would maybe want this relationship? Like, it, we can kind of build from there. Um, so, like, for example, I have one um that i don't know what to do with <laughs> because it's uh mine one of mine is alice has forgiven you for something but i haven't but based on like all of the descriptions like i don't know what that would be <laughs> um and that's something that we can discuss and kind of assign from there uh is there anything is there anybody that has one that they absolutely want to give to somebody else i have uh what? two if both of mine i can totally give minus i know exactly who i want to give them to okay um the first uh the, oh, fir the first one is I don't think you like me is totally going to be going to Jack. Oh, good. Nice. Nice. Why do you think that's the case? Honestly, just because, well, I was about to say, did you read my secret that I've been holding <laughs> under my hands poker style? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I have not at all. Uh, I just, frankly, out of anyone that was there i just considering who julia is i just can't imagine people in her family be so trusting of her right off the bat especially if she's showing like, up all over the place like so like as a secret girlfriend like ha like has maybe jack like noticed you being around the house a bit more and might have like some, some, some suspicious does jack know it, that you guys are dating i don't know i don't think so no that's why i think like you know who's this grungy Thug of a girl who keeps hanging around my Bad sister. Kid. Yeah. Who's uh. that lint liquor? <laughs> uh, that works. Okay. Um, what's your other one? The other one is I. Uh, okay. Make sure, make sure I get this wording correct. Hang on. Oh, yeah. I always wanted you to be my friend. And I'm going to throw that towards Dakota, which sounds like my secret uh, rival for Alice's affections. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Because um, I just adore the dynamic there. <laughs> okay. I, I have one that I know I want to put to somebody, and I don't know what I want to do to the other one. Okay. Um, but the one that I know that I want How to give to is we've never gotten along, and I want it to go to Julia. <laughs> 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 that that tracks. That tracks. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were going to also put that at me. And I was like, it's just everyone says we've never gotten along. And I'm like, <laughs> why is Jackie even in our text chat? Alice, we hate your shitty older brother. Why do we hang out with Jack? I don't get Alice, it. No, why is your I, shitty older brother in our group chat? <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you caught up in the OOC chatter earlier this morning, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, but really, I just, I've hmm. seen... Uh, Julia and Alice hanging out more. It, I don't know. You know obviously, mm, maybe it depends there, on how we play or how we build like up the story. A, you know, I don't want. It's, it's, I guess yeah, it's really up to you and your friends. And then also, like, I just don't really like Julia that much. Okay, that works. Is uh, 
you, you said you had one that you weren't sure. Do you want to like say where it is? Maybe. We can yeah. So something? I have another. I have another one that's basically. I know how you really feel about. I should be taking notes. I feel like that could kind of go to notes. anybody, and I'm not. I can't totally that sure yet who I want it to go to. So, I mean, like, yeah, that really could go to anybody. Uh, an easy one would be Evan. But maybe that's you... kind of what I was <laughs> thinking. Hi. Based off of how you, you describe like it, kind of sounds like most people. Know and that like, was Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dakota. I was just gonna ask, like. Do you think Evan is the I kind of kid who would be like self-aware enough to be not obvious about <laughs> the crush, or do you think it's like a kind of a well-known secret? Friend, I feel like. But oh wait, are you asking Nate or are you asking me? I'm asking you because it's your character. Um, I I I feel like he tr like he tries to hide it, and he he hides it about as well as you would hide a a car underneath a towel. Okay, Not so, well. So, so, so everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, so anybody who's paying attention knows. And wait, what, um, was, what was the uh, prompt? For my, my notes? My relationship, the one that I thought I might go to Evan, but I'm not sure, is I know how you really feel about Alice, which Ooh. feels like it's kind of like secret, but like it, everyone knows. So like, yeah. I think I might put it towards, I want to say Charlie. 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 Okay. I, gotta, I, I mean, gotta read your, I gotta read your description again. Yeah. yeah. So like, you guys did like a really good job with your description. Like, went pretty in depth. I don't. I never really do that with my <laughs> characters. I kind of just like give a general outline and then build from there as as I play with them. Also, belated um, hey, the heady. Um, so you, there might not be a, lot, a whole lot there. Um, I will say that uh, in my mind, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, the fact that like. I lived next door to Jack and Alice and essentially grew up with them. Boys. And you have been Alice's best friend since, like, infanthood. Like, yes. I, I would imagine that the four of us are yeah, relatively yeah, close yeah. and, like, grew yeah, up together Alice. and, like, okay. are well aware of, like, each other's vibe yeah. and, like, s s state. Um, I, I, I will say, like, in my mind, I don't think Charlie has, like, any kind of romantic feelings for Alice. I think right. he kind of sees Jack as, like, a brother and alice has like a younger sister that he like worries about right. um so mm -hmm. i don't know if that if that helps you in your decision at all yeah i think i am gonna throw it at jack then at jack yeah at jack Cause i think because i think that like there's a little bit there that's like a kind of like what jack obviously there's a bit of like uh, resentment discord a little bit between the firewood family do you think so there might be think... a, a little bit of like resentment on jack's yeah, end for, yeah for, maybe for, for, for you know, Right, I'll I'll leave Jack to decide that, but yeah, that's what I think. I think I know I know how you really feel about Alice, whether that's actually true or not, is da -da -da. revealed. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna throw it at Jack. Good. Well then, I'm gonna throw at. Give me a second. Don't you fucking say it. Give me a second. <laughs> Don't you fucking say it. Give me a second. <laughs> I want Julia and I to have used to have been best friends. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's oh. juicy. Oh, that juicy. Spicy. Do you, do you oh. think it Stinky. went bad around the same time that she, she started dating her younger sister? I think it probably fell apart for other reasons. Sorry about that. I think I... kind of her coming back into the whole... Briarwood household <laughs> is more or less uh attention. Sorry, I Lodum. It's kinda like I Jack's like suspicious. Saw shiny oh, yeah. notifications yeah. in this house just like nice. absolutely like, And uh, then uh, you them. know a secret about me that about I that don't want shared. Um, I don't and I think no, uh... the boy who lived, Charlie, should be the one that knows <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, uh, we could definitely discuss that. Um like out of character if you want and come up with what that is because i don't know what it would be oh i think being next door to jack i think you would your character rather would uh would know the juicy the little are morsels you, are you juicing trying to get on <laughs> trying to get on the, the basketball team what? Uh, i bet i bet it's about the cigarettes the cigarettes okay something about cigarettes they're not cigarettes <laughs> They're not cigarettes. Ah, it's like it's just okay. it's oregano that I've actually just shoved into. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dirt. these cloves, they smell good. <laughs> yeah, it's just dirt. And just to check real quick, what do you have with uh, Charlie? I, I know a secret about him that he doesn't want. Oh, okay. Me to say right. Yeah. 
Okay. So like sage not a secret. Sage instead of cigarettes. Do I'm just been selling. To, do you want that to be the secret? Like that you're. It, it wasn't just cigarettes. You've been dealing drugs, and you just caught got caught with cigarettes. I think uh, either that or I sold cigarettes to someone okay. that got caught, and I sold someone else out to avoid blame. Okay. It's not that I'm all yeah, just tired. It was, it was a long I think day. That's a good one. So, so, so you're quite a, a quite a long day. I'm a narc. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Ooh. That actually kind of makes my Alice's forgive me or something, but I haven't. Like maybe Alice knew this too, and has gone over it, but I couldn't believe that you would like betray somebody like that. Yeah, you're the narc, narc. <laughs> yeah. Like narc. seeing you as like an older brother figure, and like being a, like not even really an older brother, like. I imagine we're very similar in age. Be like, I'm 17 or 18. I imagine we're just like a couple of months apart, being seniors. Um, so I would imagine we probably were pretty close growing up, and I probably see you as like a close brother. Um, and I kind of probably I narked on the senior that sold me the cigarettes. Oh. Okay. That oh. I got caught with. That's it. That's the one. Beautiful. And that senior. Was Einstein Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein. <laughs> yeah, God, I saw that car from a mile away. Okay, I can't spell uh. cigarette. This is what I get for not smoking. Cigaretto. <laughs> it's cigar. Et. Et. Gotcha. Um, okay. Uh, who? I, I think Evans left, and then I also have mine still. Uh. <laughs> Do you want me to go first? I can go first. Yeah, because <laughs> I've got nothing so far. So far, I'm just the fuck boy on the side. Like, that's yeah. a fucking... <laughs> um, and, and, like, also, like, if keep in mind, like, this it's okay is... to not give somebody something. Um, like, the time frame like, is Sometimes people won't have any exact. kind of, like... It is December, though, like, okay. three days um, after the 19th. It's it also, is winter break. Um, so when is actually... I was going to say something. It's been such a long day, my brain's kind of destroyed. Um, You're so, you can just go like, into relationships. The, these also like don't have to be reciprocated. Like, it, 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 a lot of them are right now. Just Early in the spring, like, okay. out, but, but they yeah, because promise not happened <laughs> at this point. So I think for mine, uh, I have. You've I hope Carrie's had been invited. Me, and I think I want to give that to Dakota. Um, I, again, having grown up together, I, I, I think the four of us were close for the majority of our lives. Um, and with your parents be like getting divorced when you were very young, and my parents getting divorced recently, I think maybe we kind of like bonded over that a little bit does that sound good to you who is that to what you dakota oh, dakota sorry. i, I have my uh power <laughs> strips are beeping what'd you say no uh so I, I was saying like um i have like you've always been there for me and i'm thinking of giving that to you uh because like yeah. i said like the yeah. four of us kind of okay. like all growing up together i imagine we were pretty close like, all yeah, with, definitely. throughout our childhood and yeah. like with, with with your parents getting divorced when you were like eight and mine getting divorced mm -hmm. Like last year, um, like I imagine we that might have helped us bond a little bit, and like kind yeah. of, you might have like given me like tips or advice. Yeah, hundred uh, okay. percent. Yeah, I'm sure that you and I have probably just hung out on our. I'm own really curious honestly. to see yeah, like, how too. this plays so, out yeah, in the actual main sense. game. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm giving Dakota. I suppose we're all gonna have friends that have like this friend, similar. I haven't. What a pre uh, relationship. That huh. would go to like might go to Jack because I I think maybe maybe Alice also knew about this, uh, narking and maybe she's gone over it, um. But like I still, that's I, I still don't fully trust you at this point, um, Told especially you. without the, the trouble. Narc. Without the trouble, I didn't narc. You narc. Um, the troubles. Yeah, okay. you're the troublesome Briarwood at this the point. And, and I, I, and I'm I don't, looking to kill you, man. And, and I don't. I, I'm it's not that kind of game. Rubbing, <laughs> off, rubbing off on Alice in, in a bad way. Uh, phrasing. I I know it, mm, I guess it's been, been a long day. Look, that's um, secret. <laughs> so those are mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are your relationships? If you just want to read them, Evan, we can yeah. help you figure out where they go. Uh, or... I'm protective of you, which I th I'm kind of leaning that towards Dakota because that's Alice's oh. bestie. Oh, nice. Yeah, trying to get in with the best friend. That's yeah. Best friend well, well, that, well, that and like I, I am playing it off as Evan really does actually care about Alice. So yeah. he's Sim like, well, I don't Sim want Alice City. to be upset. Yeah, Sip City. Sim like he is 100% Sip. <laughs> Sim and Sim. if something happened to Dakota, then Alice would be sad. So he's gonna be protective of Dakota. Right. right, right, right. This dude buys bath water yeah. from Alice. The yeah. the other one is I know you don't care about Alice as much as I do, which 
I would most likely lean that towards Julia, but the thing <laughs> is, is like... Why not? <laughs> well, first is, you're the secret girlfriend. You don't know that. Secret. <laughs> yeah. Ken, secret. I think, that's what, I, think that's what he's, I think that's what she's saying, is that like, Ken. she doesn't know that you're the girlfriend, so like, she doesn't know that like, oh, I care about her more than you do. It's like, well, why would Julia care about her anyway? Like, you don't know can I, can I offer a suggestion? What's uh, that? You don't Please. have to take it, but just maybe like a spitballing. Maybe you also like back, like piggybacking off of Dakota's. I really know how you feel about Alice, like that resentment and like maybe a little bit of jealousy. Uh, for maybe those who also just have popped in, up on that. a part of this game and is kind of like a system zero. Really about Alice. Uh, building up of our, like, a brief little story. Mm. Just just stuff like takes like ninety just minutes. An idea. Don't have to go with it. Um, just put it but we've forgiven. Yeah. Two is, it, is it possible for that to, to shift over to a different put, character at some point? Because I can imagine characters. that would shift over to Julia if Evan ever found out. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see why not. Sweet. Okay. The, game We're all like... be, the game can kind of be whatever we want once we get started. Like, who knows okay. what's going to end. Yeah, but well, uh, everyone mine in this were... group is like, yeah, you know what? Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you like me, and I always want to be my friend. That's the one. <laughs> I know right away we do that. Like I said, I think that. Jack and Charlie were very close, like when, when yeah. we were younger. Maybe if you uh, hadn't fucked up so bad, Jack. I don't know. I feel like Charlie and Jack both listen to "We Don't Talk Anymore" like on repeat <laughs> at the same time of night. <laughs> they accidentally look out the window and see each other, and then they like quickly look away. We don't okay. talk anymore. Yeah, just to make okay, sure I got my. Yeah, oh. Go ahead. I was gonna ask. Um, to make sure I have my notes here correctly, uh, Jack. So, yeah. were, were your, your relationships again? Was that your best? F that you and I were best friends once upon a time. Uh, oh. yeah. Okay, cool. Make sure you got that right. Okay, cool. Never mind. Yeah, you, you you're a little car monkey. You <laughs> hide greaser. in the hood. Hide greaser. <laughs> you. Uh, I'm trying to you think of the. Kid. You bad kid. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um. I would say um, the... I wasn't aware we were falling back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare two times, calling people bad kids. Bad kid. Bad kid. Oh, I plan to go oh, full full that kid. today. Yeah, but yeah, that that'll be my relationships then, and it'll probably. But uh, I was gonna say ah uh, yes, that. Like, I was gonna say, put, put now you're real quiet. Okay, that. The prep itself should be at best roughly a half hour. Like we're almost done here. Uh, the game itself is ninety minutes, which is still, if it if even if it was ninety minutes, and play and play time for ninety minutes, that is still like less time it takes to build characters and run like a four hour one shot. And relationship wise, uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, so from there we can move on to hunches if we want to go over to the hunches channel. Um, I've already pulled the cards <gasps> way back in February. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, okay. uh, when I was testing the bot. Uh, so these are the people and the places that will be coming up during the game. Uh, yeah. Like I mentioned like I mentioned before, we're just going to give kind of like a general rumor that we heard um, about we'll, we'll each pick two of these and like give a general rumor that we've heard about why they why we think they might be related to Alice missing going missing. It doesn't have to be the actual truth. We don't have to get in depth with it. Like that will come when we're playing the game and these cards actually get drawn. Uh, but this is kind of just give us a starting off point. Um, same for the places. Um, it, it's best not to tie the places together. Like you don't want to be like David Nelson is always at the Dripping Dagger Club because the, David Nelson might not come up at all, right. and the Dripping Dagger Club might not come up at all. Or if in the end it might be or C.J. One Wallace might come and up, but the other one doesn't exactly. come up at all. Right? Yeah. Um, so we don't want to tie anything too close together to just rumors. Is there anything that's particularly standing out to anybody? And we can just write the hunches as we describe them in, in this channel. Dibs um, on the ex-boyfriend. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so Alice does have an ex-boyfriend. Um, what that means for her uh, and her orientation, we don't know. Um, maybe she was experimenting. Maybe she isn't sure. Maybe she so, goes both ways. Who knows? I think one thing that kind of came up through like just the descriptions is that Julia had said that she punched uh, the high school quarterback. So I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna for calling. Uh, I was gonna make that Julia David. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was yeah. too. Because then I later said, like you said, what do you mean, like Julia North? You want to start something? And I said, I mean, you like skip school and stuff, didn't you? And I said a different name, but I changed it to like, didn't you like break David Nelson's nose a few months ago and yeah. get detention? Like, I think that that's a good 
kind of like so uh, i love so it like do you mean something like david nelson might have suspicions about uh like julia and alice and might have like done something to alice to get back at julia yeah like you yeah. know after like right like he's like oh seeing julio together with alice more often like he might have just wanted like revenge and then maybe it went too far or something like that yeah that works um i would maybe uh never I, actually never mind uh natty said that um she wanted ryan uh so maybe like mr Howard, the history teacher um he's actually also been out of school since wednesday um he's he said that he I think got like those symbols the game takes place in modern times so like we can the, say like maybe the, he says he got covid but like it's kind of sure. weird that they will both be missing so the like, same amount of time right. if yeah I think like, that's fair. this was the suspect one which um, makes sense as like the location oh those. should i should i like I, i'm sure the explanation is obvious but should i mention why i picked the ex-boyfriend i would mention it and and like just like put it as a line in, in the hunches like kind okay. of like julia david nelson drove for... is that the card that you're picking julia or was that the card that dakota was was picking well I was going to go for, pick that one as one of mine, okay. um, unless Dakota wants to take it. Either no, way, you can go I, for it. I think Don't it should be it. one. You're, you're totally fine. Go for it. <laughs> David Nelson. It's me, David Nelson, baby. All right. Um, do you want to say what you think, Evan, or do you just want to type it out? Uh, I, I was typing it out, out, but I could say it out loud. Um, okay. he, he was the... He was the ex-boyfriend of Alice, uh, very shitty, very just not nice at, to her at all. And when they broke up, he did not take it well, so like at all. <laughs> you think he, like, even to this day still isn't over it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do we want to give, like, a time frame for when they broke up? Do you think, like, maybe they broke uh, up like, a couple of months ago or a year ago? Maybe, maybe, like, a, maybe like a month or two ago, yeah. Okay, cool. I love the Den King. That what? Sorry. So, hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Um, need... Anybody else have anything? You can use the hotkeys. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no problem. Uh, Jack, you got anything? I was trying but to think of that. something <laughs> with... Uh... I Biden every time I say that. Hey, Jack, you got, you got anything? Jack? You got something, Jack? If you want to... Back you, in the like, day... <laughs> If you can't think of anything for, like, a person and you want to take two cards from, like, vocations, you can do that, too. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, like I said, this is kind of just giving us jumping off points to go off of in the chat. Uh, I was thinking C.J. Wallace, maybe, something kind of, like, it, uh, been seen that, uh, hovering around yeah, near uh, be kind of the, the Briarwoods house. Later. Mm. Maybe he's been, like, caught, like, with his binoculars and, like, taking pictures. Like, he's known for taking, like, creep shots of people. You know what's and, better? He has creep shots of people he shouldn't have creep shots of. I mean, you, you shouldn't really have creep shots of anybody. <laughs> Ever. Really. You should definitely not have creep shots of anybody. That's a really, really good yeah. thing that just really established. <laughs> CJ <laughs> Wallace <laughs> is selling creep shots like, of Jack. <laughs> oh. Okay, but like, how does that tie to him being potentially responsible for Alice going missing? <laughs> I think it explains itself. What if he's... <laughs> That's what not how like, this works, right? What if, what if he's taking pictures of like he's like got his binoculars and he's taking pictures of like the uh, like up towards the trees, right? Like, but it looks really fucking weird, right? He's okay. like smoking cigarettes, chain smoking, and he's like just like taking pictures. He's got binoculars, and it's oh, like, and he's like, and, and, and people are like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm bird watching. What the fuck do you what do you what fuck do you mean I'm doing? What am I doing? I'm bird watching. Back off." Right. Yeah, what if he actually is just a birder and we put him in jail? <laughs> right, exactly. He, he's designated as a creeper, so he's doing creepy shit, and well, he might be responsible out, for this. Type, type that out. Type yeah. that out, Jack. <laughs> Chat GPT, please, uh, please recap this discussion for us. <laughs> Thank you. That's apparently uh, a, a thing that they're that they're introducing in Discord, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Oh yeah. my god, life will never be the same. I'm um. I'm going to pick a person. I, I thought about a location, but I'm going to do a person because I want the locations to kind of just be like as we go. Don't put know. such dark demonic well, images in my head there, Ed. Um, she has I don't want to go and wash away my memory a sort today, of but... like uh, quote unquote uh -huh. villain to like Alice and villain. I. She's always been like just this like really shitty like girl. Just like somebody who's never 
liked us. We've never gotten along. We've always been at odds, and she's always got something to say. Do you think, like, it's... Did something I, trigger this, or, or is she just, like, a nasty person that I you think, think might have wanted to hurt Alice? I think that... Ooh, you know what? I think that a Dakota saw Bria and Ryan talking recently. Okay. Boo! And I mean, funny play on words, uh, but boo! <laughs> maybe Bria's liked Ryan for a long time. And maybe Bria's trying to, like... Bria might do something based off of what Ryan said, right? Okay. Like as like a sort of like you know prove like prove that she's better than Alice and she can be like and, you know I don't know I don't really know I don't know if I would be like okay Bria definitely killed her right yeah yeah but like Bria might have done something that resulted in it okay right? I, yeah I, like it could be something as simple as just like Bria is has always disliked Alice and has always had a crush for Ryan and uh, and and you saw them talking recently. And right. that got your mind going. Like, it, it doesn't have to be super in-depth. Like, she definitely hurt her, but, like, that might get your mind going. Bria hired a hitman. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah hired, uh, hired a... We do still... <laughs> we do still want to talk about, like, the locations. Like, that is something that we do want to give some kind of significance to. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was so, like, about I would maybe say that... Um, maybe, like, the lighthouse on the Howling Sea Cliffs. Um, that's a place where the four of us used to go when we were younger, like maybe it's like abandoned um, or abandoned or like it's 2023. Like the lighthouse keeper is probably not there all the time. It's probably mostly automated. So like we used to like go there and hang out and like do bad kid things uh, or what we thought were bad kid things, which is really just like cursing and like not going home by curfew. Um, and maybe like we, we still go there sometimes or like before I left, we would still go there sometimes like if we wanted some alone time or time to think. Yeah, um, I like that. Yeah. And, like, it, it's right on the ocean, so maybe somebody... Like, it, it's very slippery. Maybe something could have happened there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the old barn on Cambridge Street just, like, freaks me out. Like, there's something weird about it. it it's got this really unsettling feel. Like, I, it, you never see anybody, like, working there. Like, you never... Like, it just seems like it's abandoned, but it's not torn down. It's just sticks out like a sore thumb maybe there's actually even just like one like like a street light or whatever but there's no like lights on the property so there's just it kind of cast this weird shadow over it at night and i've just always been like Ugh, just like you know just don't look at it like if we're driving past it like i don't look at it so i'm just gonna say it gives me the willies it's fucking creepy old the kind of place you hold your breath <laughs> while you drive by yeah, yeah, like drive fast and like ho just don't look at the doors. <laughs> just like I don't want to see anything. I mm. I have I, one I, for the nightclub. Ooh. Um, I sorry, just real quick. I just want to add one thing to the lighthouse. Um, I, I think Alice might have also told me that she's been going there. She's like, I think she's like maybe been stressed and like processing a lot of things lately with between. Mm. Oh yeah, that's great. Me oh, me me not knowing uh, like that if she's dating Julia, but like. Maybe she's told me that she's been seeing somebody and also, like, finals are coming up and, like, all this stuff. So maybe she's been going there a bit more often to, yeah. like, clear her head. So is it just how these relate to Alice or is it also how they relate to us? It's it's more like why we think these locations might have something to do with her going missing. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. This is where Al uh, – did. oh, no, you did the nightclub, Flint. You do the nightclub. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as what it, in, you know, relates to Alice <clears> – <throat> Uh, I would say that, you, you, you know, the place, the nightclub has, like, the greatest, like, endless, a never-ending buffet of, we'll say, like, a breakfast buffet there. And I only know this because that's where Alice and Julia had their first date. In the morning. <laughs> it's, like, a oh, completely like, different place. Well, no, no, no. They, no, no, no. That's the thing. They, they went there. They started there at night, but stayed there long enough to get to the buffet in the morning. They turn off the dagger sign in the morning. In the morning, it's just, like, so, <laughs> dripping. Or, or, or like, some kind of buffet. I don't know. Maybe, like, why, um, dessert, dessert buffet? It, yeah. it, I want to do something with food. It, it isn't so much how, like, what significance does this place have in Alice's life? It's more like, why do we think this place might be where Alice might end up being at the end of the game? Okay. It's, it, it's more like that. In that um, case, I would like, say yeah. may, perhaps that is where Alice has a side job. Like... Maybe she's a waitress there. Keep it simple. I can see that. I yeah. would, 
I, I, I would only, like, at the end of the game, Alice might be found there, like, Probably it's no longer, no longer alive. <laughs> um, no so, alive. like, okay. uh, and she's been, and, she, and she's been missing well, for three days. Well, like, well can I, can case, I pitch case, something? Well, can I pitch something for you, Flit? Alice walks to work, and every night she gets off late. She could very well have been, like, caught, killed. There might be, like, a... Ugh, sorry. I'm dying. There might be, like, a, uh... What, what do you call it? A fucking, uh, water drain near the diner? Maybe she was put there? In that case, nice. yeah, well, I mean, that, I mean, that's better than anything I had, so... <laughs> take it away! Like, I'll, if you want to pick something one. else, I'll pick something you else, can. Yeah, I will. It's more... It's more like these locations are places that she might end up, and like at the end of the game, somebody will be responsible for why she's missing. Like, it's not going to be an accidental thing. Yeah, yeah, I got it confused. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's just a rumor mill, not like, oh, this is a possible location she was found in. Uh, yeah, that's why yeah, I got confused. Yeah, yeah. So that's why, yeah. yeah. Um, Evan, we're just wanna... giving giving rumors at this point to give us something to jump off on. But like, yeah. one of these places will be where she's found, alive or dead. She's just been at the uh, club for three days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Silent Falls train station is where Alice caught uh, the senior selling cigarettes to Jack. Okay. I'm trying to think of like some place, some like spin on that, and the senior noticed her. Do you think the senior was like maybe one of these suspects? Because like. I, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and say, I think, motherfucking, I was thinking of uh, David Nelson. Could be, or, uh, I mean. No, you know what, scandal, Mr. Halvert was selling me, it's not a senior, the fucking history teacher was selling me cigarettes. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. Um... No. I don't know. Never mind. Fuck the fuck the train station. No trains even go there anyway. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, like this is probably like the most difficult part of it is coming up with with, with hunches. But like, like I said, it, it doesn't have to be super Possibly, in depth. Yeah. Like it could just be a place that Alice goes sometimes, and she might have been maybe caught there but unaware. I'm not by the wrong person. sure. Um, if it's something happened to guaranteed. her, guaranteed. Like, that she will survive. Like, every somebody time. might know that she goes to the no. lighthouse to clear her thoughts and would have ambushed her there. Like that's kind of what I was going for with mine. Mm -hmm. um, something like that. Um, the dripping dagger, just based on the picture, doesn't look like the most reputable establishment. Maybe that's a front for drugs. Maybe something like that. Maybe like the per maybe one of these people is a drug dealer, and is, you know, uh, does their business by the by the dripping dagger, and she passes by that uh, that club on the way to work. Uh, wherever she works, and that's um, why I, say, I don't think she would work at the dagger because, like that, that seems like a, a bar, and she's sixteen. Um, yeah, well, that's why I say you know go with uh, the one that Evan suggested for because that works perfectly. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, go ahead and write and write that down. I have one. Okay. Oh, so you're not gonna do the uh, the, the dance club? Huh? Because you had you. Cause you I thought you already made one for the dance club, but anyway, go. Never mind. Go no, ahead. No, no, I was I was suggesting that for you, Flitworth. For you to use. Uh. I, because you. Regardless, I I've been sitting on this one for maybe about ten minutes. Um, State Park. Uh, Alice goes there every morning, like early morning before school. So to go for a quick the, jog. The dance club. Um, it's usually when the park is uh, slightly like, Nightclub, like nightclub. People haven't like, arrived at the park yet. Uh, it's very possible that somebody could have snuck up behind her, grabbed her, and took her into the woods. Dripping Dagger Nightclub. Yep. Hoppy Penny Rope has been awfully very good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Dagger nightclub. Uh, maybe there are rumors that, like, that the train station, mm. like, boarding trains at odd hours. Maybe it's like. I think she tied it to my secret. Or, like, trafficking people. <laughs> the fucking. That, uh. 
Yeah. Because I got an anonymous message for someone about... What was it? Motive, you fear the word, uh, secrets. You recently got an anonymous message from someone regarding your relationship with Alice. Speak the details was the most creepy. That, uh, yeah. Honestly, I still want to go with the fact that that someone got a photos of us at the nightclub. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to try and say that they... I'll have to, like, say the nightclub doesn't card. Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, I thought of something. I'm just going to say that uh, the nightclub is kind of notorious for never carding at all for people who go in. And if they do, it's always been lackluster. Uh, not that I would say, uh, you know, <laughs> out of the open. Hey, I thought of it. Okay. Let's, let's go and type that in. The Dripping Dagger Nightclub. Yeah, uh, Nate. Nate, GG, but he doesn't have to be in the chat to play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, well, I mean. Uh, he said he'd play on his phone a little bit, right? Yeah, I, I guess. I thought it would be easier if we all stayed in the call. That way we can just use, like, the watch together to play the. Dagger Nightclub. He said he would be listening. I don't know how. Yeah. Oh, hey. There we go. Uh, we were literally sitting here, Nate, trying to like figure out how you were going to listen if you weren't in call. <laughs> yeah, this is a player. Beach. Friends. Uh, but he, he told me to stay. Yeah, he'll be okay. typing. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. I'm, I'm going to mute myself uh, once we get started, and I'll play this with my couch uh, in my office and just like make sure nobody hears. Yeah. Um, oh, should we go do the our music? Yeah. Uh, do you want to do voicemails real quick? Because I think we. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Don't forget that. When you do your voicemail, just uh, go ahead and upload it to the voicemails channel. And then I will run the command to have the bot pull the person who accidentally deafened. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, does that have to be any sort of like file? Uh, MP3 or wave, I think. Okay. Question is, it does. So I'm going to use this lovely voice recorder to do mine. Okay, cool. Hopefully this doesn't ruin anything out there. Uh, let's get at the end. So what's my prompt once more time? One more time. It is voicemail. She didn't call you last night when she got home. Uh, I wanted to think of some kind of pet name for her. Maybe I think I just call her Alice. <sighs> Julia doesn't strike me as someone who will, uh, who would, uh, use b baby pet names. That's like only one to two minutes. All right. In that case. <sighs> didn't call me last night. <clears throat> I 
Yes, let's sound recorder access my microphone. <laughs> I was like, I'll set the go and just that came up. All right, shoot. Oh, I was recording. Of course it is. Uh, can you delete, please? Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Alice, it's. Well, you fucking know who it is. I'm. <sighs> Sorry about last night. I'm. I know you want to tell everyone. I, I, fuck shit. I know it's been long enough, but you know I'm not good with this this lovey duffy crap. But listen, just you just okay. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Okay. Um, can I just delete this, please? Thank you. All right. Hey, Alice. It's well. You fucking know who it is. I just shit. Sorry about last night. I. I just worry. Okay. I worry people with what people will think. Worry what people will think of me and with you. I know I don't say this enough, but I, I, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me, okay? You, you deserve everything. I just don't know if I really am, like, the one that's going to be there for all of it, and just give me a call. I just want to hear you're safe. I want to know you're all right. And for fuck's sakes, fine, fine. First thing, Christmas Eve, we'll go with your plan. We'll go and finally tell everyone. I, I, need, I need to tough it out. I need to be strong about this. And I, I'll do it for you. I, Guess who is, uh... I love you. Spending the night tonight, yeehaw. Oh, shit. My brother. Oh, there we go. We'll see how that uh, <laughs> plays out. out. We'll say that. Like, I'll oh, say that she chose the first time she ever did. This. Julie said yeah, okay. that, it, that she loved Alice. I don't know if he actually, like, got picked up on the we'll see how that goes. <sighs> Going to the pre-tabs, they had a fight over. Works for me. Coming out to everyone. So it's been December 19th, so we'll see December 20th. Okay, how do I get this file out? A uh, quick question, Maury. <laughs> now to teach yourself how to use a new software. Yay. Okay, okay there it is. It's MP4A. Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, just one oh, that's right, one I have transmission question. on here. I do it all out there, folks. We're about to play this crazy game, and I am freezing in kind of I wonder if I just, can I just rename this MP4? Would that be enough? Or MP3? Hey, Alice, it's. Okay, my sound on. I just. Okay, works. I think. If not, well. Oh, well. There we go. Let's get back into this chat proper. And I'll drop this off in there. Crap, where'd it go? Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Er, er, er. 
Let's write voicemail as two words. No, can you actually bring up the file location? Thank you. There we go. Okay. And there we are. Okay. That was a horrifying sound. <laughs> okay. Is it weird that I am kind of nervous well, I about this? So I can talk to Nate. Hi, Nate. Once more, I, I, sh I should say I should say tabletop game because I don't get to play tabletop games with Nate like Maury and Ryan get to do. Lucky bastards. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened to the nat pack? What happened to the nat pack? Big man, we got the death there, that's very fair. Death ebbs. Out of curiosity, uh, yes. am I the only one here who is, for some reason, kind of nervous about going into this now? Now that we're all set to go? God, I just want it over no, with. I just want Alex to die. <laughs> no, I'm, what? I'm nervous, too, because I'm scared, I'm scared that I'm going to do something wrong. I mean, there's very little that you can do wrong, as long as you don't cross a, a, a line or say that you found Alex's car and or phone before being told to, um, you're good, I think. Uh, it, it's a very open-ended mm -hmm. game. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, mm. the, the hunters that we went off of, we could, like, that doesn't really need to come into play. These are just things we can, like, jump off, like, jumping off points. Um, okay. But if you decide you want to do something else, that's fine. Um, again, this game is... We're, this game isn't us, about us doing an investigation. Of, we're teenagers. We're not... The police. We're not adults. We're a, we're a group of kids who's like a very close, important person in our lives has gone missing, and this is about us processing think, that. And I think Evan deserves to have a gun. No. <laughs> Are you I think you Charlie kind of looks like Eisen in his profile picture, and I think he needs a sword. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not. It's not that kind of RPG. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, this is, uh, I'm going through the uh, manual trying to find the, the verbiage for, like, the initial message, and I can't find it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Uh, I, you know, I'm just going to wing it. Whatever. It's good okay. enough. All right. Uh, give me a few minutes, uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get started. If you're, Nate, I know that you're, like, muted on your couch. Um, I, I don't know if you're going to watch the playlist. Um, like that is going to be shared uh, that everybody else is watching, or if you just want to start it on your own, um, I, cast I guess we'll, like, I'll just else. do a countdown. Okay, cool. I'll do a countdown like right before I hit start. Actually, you know what? I have to run. I have to do like a game start command. So just hit start on it when I play, when I run that command. Uh, I'll do it in the bot commands channel, which I think you can all see. Uh, do you all see bot commands under voicemails? Uh, yes. Okay. Voicemails. Yeah. yeah so, so just start it once I do that one. And while I'm thinking about that, let me go ahead and everybody's uploaded. Cool. I think so. So wait, remind me, we hit uh, start or we also hit start for watch together. Uh, once I hit start, it should start playing for everybody in the call. Um, OK, and, and there's something we need to do. It. You shouldn't have to. Um, and the bot should handle handing out the cards at the right time. Yes. Um, mm. The timer is mostly just there for us to keep track of like when the game is going to end at this point. Um, mm -hmm. Because like I said, when I hit, once, once I hit zero, you can send one last message and that's it. Um, and then also just like for the ambiance of the soundtrack, which they like created for this game. Uh, and it's supposed to help enhance the experience. Uh, okay. You can consider it already pretty... 
fucking enhanced, I must say. <laughs> Last question, I promise. We know Alice is missing by this point, or are we just now realizing, hey, we haven't seen her since Wednesday? <laughs> All, all of you know that Alice has been missing since Wednesday. That's the last time any of you have spoken to her or seen her. Uh, Charlie does not know, and that's part of, like, the opening message. Okay. I'm basically going to be like, hey, guys, sorry for the group chat. Uh, I just got back into town, and I haven't heard from Liz. Have you, do you, you know, how she's doing? Like, where, what, what's up with okay. that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. And then, you, and, and then you guys respond from there, and we go. Oh. We take off. All right. I need to talk to you. Do we get uh, cards then that hit us immediately then? Uh, tr so the cards come at like ten to five minute in like like minute intervals. Um, I Charlie gets the ninety minute card uh, because like Charlie kicks okay. off the game. Yeah, with the Charlie kicks off the game. Yes. Um, okay. Somebody will be getting an eighty minute card, um, and then somebody will be getting cards after that. Um, the card should uh, say draw like a suspect or location card. I believe the bot does that for you. Um, if okay. it does not, then I, there should be a command for it. Let me see if there is one. Okay. Uh, All right, let's Everybody do it. say thank you, Maury. <laughs> thank don't. you, Maury. Thanks, you bud. You don't have to thank me. Uh, <laughs> I don't see, I don't see a car, like a command to draw a, a person or a location. So I'm assuming the bot hands those out and keeps track of them for the shuffling at the end. Um, hmm. If you choose to go to a, like, a, like a location, like say for some reason you you're, you feel like your character would go look at the barn. Because uh, that was like a place that Dakota it kind of essentially dared Alice about. Um, if Dakota's like, I'm gonna go check the barn because that's what my character would do, um, and you want to do a, draw a searching card to get like a little prompt of what you find there, uh, it's just exclamation point searching. Um, sorry, exclamation point search, and that'll give you a card on in your solo. Okay. Um, okay, so I am going to. Did I do the voicemails? I did not. Cool. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, there are some commands I have to run, like, right before we get started to essentially engage the bot. Uh, okay. okay, so it's found the channels, it's signed the clue cards. Okay, so, uh, gonna go ahead and hit start. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mute first. I'll hit start, and then um, don't type anything in the group chat until I send the initial message, and then we can kick off. Okay. okay. Hello. All right, guys. Have a good game. Here we go. All right. Okay, and I'll just be me for the foreseeable future. At least we can hear. Once again, this I'll... You don't actually have to talk this much to play this game. This is going to be entirely my thought process out loud as we go through this whole experience together. Thank you for joining me on this. Let's get that music playing. Oh, oh. Look at that animation. I love that. So melancholy. sitting at home.
we go. <clears throat> Are they saying here? Is this out of? Okay. All right. Now we play the waiting game. I haven't missed anything yet. I'm just like, oh, here we go. First message. Hey, sorry for the big group text, but I just got into town for winter break at my dad's and I've been able to get a hold of you on Facebook. So I went to her. Wait, we know she's missing at this point. I was just about to ask. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, this is after very sorry. Yeah. I already we're, we're decided that Julia does not believe in punctuation. Time to go and dig deep. <laughs> Glad to hear. Glad to know where you're. They haven't. Okay, has the news been saying anything? Uh, no, nothing. Yeah, yeah, because they haven't been saying shit. Shit. Shit, shit yeah. Okay, the picture of the game is happening in the group chat. Yeah, yeah. So we're, this is all like taking place in like a text chat. For now. Yeah, well, you lived in the Cali too. Just cool interviews. My parents crying to the camera asking for her to come home, but nothing. She is. <sighs> oh. Speak of 
Did they check you? I haven't heard anything. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hey. This is the new me now. Hi, <laughs> Lord me. Mirp. Should play an old guy who can't text very well. Yeah, that's just, I. <laughs> Did you actually play my father? Okay, that's fucked. Speaking of daily check, you haven't all heard anything? Not yet. <sighs> Been asking around. Gosh, what is what is their name? I, I'm, I'm seeing like. What was his name? David. She wouldn't, Alice wouldn't just appear on her own. She wouldn't do this to us. This is bad. No. No. Fucking. Shit. Sh Sherlock. Okay, to us, shouldn't do this. Period. Oh God. So I know I got like locations right now. <laughs> right here, why Julie? Why Julie is here? Because. Because Alice. Invited me. It's invited me. That's why. Uh, Actually, ignore that. Oop, that's right. Future mm. idiot. <laughs> uh, that's right. He made the made the chat. Forgot about that. Okay, you know the model of my car, right? 94 Calvier, puke brown. Of course. Uh, let's see. She wants me about the car. Brake pads. Brake pads that. As I get a whole lot of fucking help from their friends hope and a prayer yeah okay you know right much as that they've been hanging out recently I thought she uh for me I tell you you have this energy. <laughs> Wait, sorry, Jules, just to have this energy? What do you mean by that? <laughs> God. I'm so angry! <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, fun. Very. Uh, I can hear it the last stream. Are you talking about uh, the Friday Nights one or the Denji one? Because that one got uh, pushed to Monday. Do you curious to replace it with ducking like out of character? Oh, I like that. That's a good idea. <laughs> See what David just posted on Twitter. He just posted a picture of him and her hanging out saying, Miss you as something I can tell where, though. Thanks. <laughs> you have the energy woman who can't and will kick my ass. I, what? Oh my gosh, David Nelson. No. Oh no no. On this we agree, Evan. He, yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Alice would be caught dead with David. Alice be caught dead with that 
baby ass soft chin fucker. I'm trying to think as colorful as I can with my insults. <laughs> I should put I should have put it in ducker. I'll have to do that next time. I don't want to think like fucker would have been autocratic bid to ducker. <laughs> Sorry, I actually had wish I had autocorrect. Wouldn't be caught. You know, actually, the, you know, the spelling mistakes are kind of perfect, considering that Julia is bad in school, which plays out the fact that I can't spell for shit. <laughs> oh. Fuck, yeah, I did. And I bet you that little shit knows something about this. Okay, Where did, who, who mentioned the Twitter thing? Julie's gonna go on the side. Okay. Okay. It was Jack. All right. Hey. David has me blocked on Twitter. Did he mention where he was? Should where he? He is? I want to go have a quick chat. <laughs> Dinner and in her room. Until it's in your sweater and in her room. In her room, it's not. Did Alice get attention because of that? Yeah, Julia. Julia would be not be happy about that. Yeah. What of it? I apologized. Apollo. Yeah, I'm not worried about spelling. I I apologized. Suss it all. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got this. Just sus it all? <laughs> You're sus. Bitch. Yeah! <laughs> please, please take the role playing bait. Please, please. I purposely put in the wrong your. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Now, now we're going to Dakota. Listen. Back off, ducker. The fuck, duck. duck. <laughs> okay, listen, back off, ducker. Duck. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> the location, the background is really dark. It must have been at night. Other person took the photo, though. <sighs> Shit. Shit. Okay. No. Ever since you two have been hanging out, she's been weird as fuck. Okay. Ooh. I wonder how long I should go into this before I reveal anything about her and I's relationship. There's a lot of potential there. Of course not. She is too good for that. 
and it's not weird. It's not, and it's not weird. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. We just happen to be just hanging out a little bit more. Yeah, right? Right. A little. Okay, I need to be more forced. Maybe we're jumping to conclusions. What are you? Jealous? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, better yet, better yet. <laughs> we would invite you if you weren't a... Okay. Your friend for... If you weren't such a nagging ass. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. I just could be like combative. I am not helpful at all. Oh, I can't click on it. Um, 70 seconds or 70 minutes. Should I have been 20 minutes? Holy crap. I was to the hour mark. This is wild. It's a way to let things slip accidentally, like leaving a clue you didn't realize was a clue. Oh, yeah, totally. It's a way to let the reveal things that I may say to other people. And I'm purposely trying not to think about it. Because Julie would not. She would be all over the place. Uh, okay, he please come up the fuck down, please. No, she didn't. She thought he was a shit looker, too. Fuck. Agreed. Which is why I... why I think we should go hunt the little bastard little bastard down and find out more I can't with you ooh, ooh I got something what does it say here reveal a location card you ended up at this location with Alice very late at night just hours before she reported missing what are you doing there, and why didn't you want anyone to know? Oh, it's the Chippendale Nightclub! This is exactly where I said we were going to take our dates! That is too fucking perfect! Okay. Uh, <laughs> I love it! Um. Okay. Reveal, okay, location card, a thousand nine, just ours, which went Okay. No, this is a little long. Well, perfect. Well, I can tell you that he was at the nightclub last night. Yeah, I can't do it. Why not? Yeah. Am I really that bad to you? Yeah, I'm going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's shade people's. Okay, and there wasn't the L shade. Um. No, she was, she was, she was with me. We, we were at the night club as well. The night she missing. Uh, I s meant to s meant to say I 
saw David at the club the night she went missing. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's okay. Hey. Uh... Okay. Okay, what do we say here? Okay, what's the game show for how branding smites worked? Okay, I'd be afraid to screw up your punch confusion like you brushed your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm trying to purposely night to be as sloppy as possible. Because I imagine Julia has a phone that's like out of date with like no like autocorrect. Plus, she, like me, can't spell. See if a damn doesn't really care about it. Let me spell it. Else, fast. Talk about it all the fucking time. I get it. I don't want to get in between that. Yeah. As is, as is it like like nightclub. Uh, three key a little worn down. Yeah, I'll stop back simply. <laughs> No, but it's one of the few places we can be alone. Yeah, I'm getting close. I'm going to try to do it like right at the 60 mark or right before then. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, what would you really... Cut the fucking gifts. What do you mean? Ah, uh, um... I'm just gonna say that Julie at this point is kind of like has chucked her phone across the, the room. It's just kind of buzzing on the side. Oh, how would, how would she process this? Yeah, I have to type at least something. Julia has just oh oh, help that three key. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't know if you say anything. What did I say? Oh, brother bought you that phone, Julia. <laughs> what do I say? What do I say? She is just like feeling so embarrassed. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> oh. What do I say? <laughs> no offense, but. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Listen. Alice and I are a thing. I don't want to... It's not what's important right now. And off badly tried to lie shittily. Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. What does is that David was being really creepy last night. Really skeevy. Wouldn't leave us alone. Yeah, that's... Well, let's cast with Meg now. She said you're hanging out. If I, I, I thought it should have been... I thought she might have talked you into fixing the car. All right, yeah. That's... We got to know. All right. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Don't want to deal with Kodo right now <laughs> to deal with Dakota. <laughs> Dakota. I can't spell Dakota. That doesn't matter. Dakota. Dick. Co. Dick. Coda. Dakota. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I would rather feed it to him and the rest of his goddamn football just <laughs> yeah oh god this is this is kind of fun i i like i haven't really got a chance to be like the really emotional person right now Yeah, Coda's good peep. She's t she just cares a lot about Alice. We all do. They've basically been trying to hit since birth. Yeah, and she absolutely hates my guts. I I don't want Alice to have to choose between the two of us. Because, frankly, I am af afraid I would lose. Because, really, she could do oh, a lot better. Yeah. Oh, she'll be able to copy it. Okay. I threw... Yeah, sorry. I just threw the piece of shit across the room. Oh. One hour to go. Okay. Give the code this type. I'm going to go and bother him, but I feel like. Mm. Jump under. 
You might not be right. <laughs> yeah. Well, though, she looks for the best in people. Yeah. Oh. That music is perfectly timed to reading that. Oh. Not gonna lie. I haven't slept in days. We We fought the last time we saw each other. You know your growth and girl is right low why is that why you both hang out so much? Yeah. <laughs> you know what girls and girls, right? Is that why you both hang out so much? I'm going to kick her ass. I bet she and David are both in on on this. They probably, yeah, yeah. Of course, you have to conclusions. Yeah. They probably helped whomever has her. Oh no! Careful. <laughs> you might actually. <laughs> Start liking me. Did the music end? Okay, there we go. I said to go hit the button. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, um, about what? I think she might be going off somewhere. That's what I thought. She wanted to tell people about us at Christmas. Yeah, it really doesn't. Yeah. And I said no. <laughs> Fucking course I was Of course I was serious. I am going to burn down this would burn down this entire town for her. Starting with Bria. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> hey, what's the message about you two from Bria? Get 
Alice back, I will be the biggest bitch. Biggest bitch I can be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dakota's the only occasion. Liz, this will be the truth. I know we don't get along, but you're acting like more than her friend. That's fucking weird because... Oh, oh, she, he got it. Oh, I mean, of course he knows it, but still, it's kind of fun. Oh, that's cool. Dakota, listen. It... It wasn't... Alice's idea to, to keep it from you. Oh, oh, my, my chest is getting lighting up here. These kids are too young to appreciate the Meredith Brooks song, but Julia is it. <laughs> mm. I embarrassed of me of what people may say about me. I am called <laughs> I'm called all kinds of fucking sh shit. I don't want Alice, they're drawn into that. I know. Drawn into. Oh, the chest lining up. I can't respond to them all. I will calm down when Alice is back home. Until then, <laughs> and we did that broken. I like that broken. We didn't actually stay friends, but I hope you'll. And I'm looking for my sister, and just want to know what happened. If you're thinking I don't deserve, some, uh, I'd like to know. Oh, this is getting real. I'm not sure if I'm mentally able to handle this right now. If you're thinking I don't deserve to know, but what kind of like to know? Yeah. We are, yeah, we are dating. Oh, this is exploding my chats. Yeah. Alice wanted to tell you to tell everyone, but I told her not to. Even at that, even at that. I was worried. Okay? Worried about... About what people would call her. What people would say about dating some dumb grease monkey bitch ass. She doesn't. Sort of that. Ooh, imagine that shows up at the end about like Lily Mary's terror circle is doomed. <laughs> uh.
Oh, okay, we'll find out. But I don't know. There's no need to. I was worried about how she would be treated. She gets enough shit. She gets enough shit about that shit with just being her self at school from jerks like Bria. I didn't want to add to that when it came out that she was dating me. Because if you haven't fucking noticed, <laughs> I'm not exactly on the top of the fucking social food chain in this god awful town. No. She wanted to tell all of you. She wanted to finally get it out there at Christmas. We thought about it outside the dance club on the night when this bullshit started. She stormed off and I have done nothing but hate myself health for every second since then because all I can think about uh, thank you about is the chance the last thing I said to the girl I love th that <laughs> that <laughs> was fucking <laughs> tr uh, drop it yeah okay Ooh. Ooh. Mm. He's talking about me. And Shit. When did these names pre chosen by the game? Yeah, they were. They were. Yeah. Just, just hold, please. That's fine. Yeah, I'll hold in the group chat because I have so many other side conversations going on. You saw her afterwards?
Uh, was she? Was she okay? <laughs> Write my secret. Give my secret out at some point. What was that again? Um, recently got an anonymous message from someone regarding your relationship with Alice. What details most creepy? I mean, just trying to get drunk. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is amazing. How this is all just building up. Replace your stuff with water. Thank God. Glad. Damn, damn, I'm glad you were there. Sorry, guys, the message. Hey, where? Were you ever separated? from her did you know your girl wasn't was an alki uh julia no i didn't i did not because i'm driving her to drink Ugh. you know the stuff handles will wait for the next things that come up. It's incredible. Yeah, there was like a lot of setup there, but like for like an hour, and it did feel like it was like a lot of you know, fill in the blanks, mad libbing. But I can see it. It was kind of like building all the blocks. You know, the toys to the side in your toy box, and then we hit, you know, fucking go. My gosh, it's like an explosion of just everything. This is this is cool. JK <laughs> we walked. <laughs> Imagine. I can. I've fixed up some of those pieces of shit. But, Dakota, listen, I got a, uh, a text last night, a text last night. I was going to do my secret reveal last night. Text last night. Didn't recognize the number but it was a photo of Alice drinking with some girl and the uh, and it and they said Looks like someone. Looks like someone upgraded from third class to first. Right? The fuck, right? I I know I am I know I am not hot shit. But still it's fucked. Facebook. She's probably locked in our basement. You guys know that's not true, right? Like, they searched everything, even the old treehouse out back. Can't you go on Facebook? She probably locked in our basement. You guys know that's not true, right? Like, 
bounce back. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that fucker. I am going to skin him alive. <sighs> oh my god, stop at the pity party. I'm, oh, this is the issue you like dealing with them. In the bathroom, like two minutes. Again, and you don't tell me we were together for like two minutes. Oh, yeah, Julie's about to get pissed again, and you just left her alone. Got a full basement calling it now. Like a black phone kind of thing? Oof. This is weird. I'm trying my best to play Julia with Dakota as like wanted to be her usual like accusational pissed off self, but still wants to be friends with Dakota. Hey. You got to the, you go to this location in search of her. In two minutes, you find Alice's car dumped here, stripped for parts. Inside the trunk is something terrifying or unexpected. Oh, this is perfect. What do you find in her car that tells you Alice is in grave danger? In two minutes. What was this in two minutes? I bet that fucker skipped out of. See, they found an article about some. Yes, there's a person ever caught. Out of. Or skipped out of town. I'm driving to the train station. I bet they are not telling us something. Okay, so I have two minutes, so I had 32. Okay, I gotta get this out. I'm gonna type it here first. It's entirely parts wheels engine everything they're just gone Fucker. Fuckers didn't. We <laughs> didn't even. Didn't even leave. Fuckers didn't even leave the seatbelts. That tells you that Alice is in grave danger. I found something in the
trunk is. I. I think I can get it open. Can. Open. Alright, I was gonna say. Grave danger. <laughs> Bullet holes is shot to hell inside. Th there's blood that stains. <laughs> they left the back gate open in the in employee lot the fuckers thought it was just abandoned yeah, there we go uh, abandoned abandoned yeah <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Grave danger. Ha, oops, slipped. <laughs> I don't know, but I am going to find out. Yeah, Julie's about to go and like kick down doors at the train station. takes but I am going to find us I'm sorry I made her keep everything from you The police should have done years ago. I'm going to go kick down the fucking door at the train station and raise hell until we get fucking answers. Off. 
this would be off. The feds could track all of this. Yeah. This would be off. Yeah. I always liked you. Didn't. Frankly, I always liked you. Just in case. promise that hmm everything I can to get Alice back Yeah, I want to apply to this to tell you that if that Alice doesn't care about that, and, and, and um, yeah, and honestly, I don't care anymore. I just want her. Oh, I'm gonna go hit the thing, Majig. I'm here. Cool. Okay, what's the thing? I just want her home again. Okay. Dang it, I'm gonna put this gun in the bag. <laughs> Okay, she's there, covered with snow. I'm only, you know where it is. I'm going over to Coda. She's going to hide. I got my bat. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay. Wait. What? Code. Oh my gosh, Dakota's been like, oh my god, Dakota's been like, oh my god. <laughs> Just saw the group. I am driving over. Hey, updates. Oh, I'm going to I don't know what to do. Julie, you okay? <laughs> I gave up on the yeah I give up on the train station stuck at a red light driving to Dakota's now Which way did they go? Ooh, ooh, I'm in my closet. Fuck. I am just down the block. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't see anyone. Pat is a sight to behold. Ooh. Ooh. Who did done do it? All these suspects, all these people. This is like being like utter chaos. It's wild. Yeah. I'll stay in my car. F flush him out. I will show him what bat shit. <laughs> I will show him. <laughs> I'll show him <laughs> the real meaning of bat shit. <laughs> And nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't fight shit at the train station. Shit at the train station. <laughs> Was still working on the uh, front door when I saw. Well, the probably was still open. Was halfway to the front door when I saw the Coda's messages. Messages. Ooh, the front door's a bit buzzed, but it looked like he broke through. I'm gonna struggle to the back. Maybe not be hearing uh, any more noise, Dakota. Okay. <sighs> interesting, interesting, interesting. This music is jamming! So, let's see, okay. I've been really accusing one a little bit, a bit here. I think she'd be again David Nelson, okay. Yeah, it was it was David. Told you it was fucking David. Is jamming Alice into a wood chipper? I hope not. Oh man, guys, 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 Alice, what? What? Oh, oh, presently, Alice is still alive. Oh. Which where the fucking god? <laughs> if you are Alice's bloody memory. Okay, if David's there, which means it's, uh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Uh, Hunches. Is it the bully? I think we said Bria. 
was before, yeah, Bria. Broken down shit in the woods, oh fuck. Theron Finder, yeah. Nah, this is fucks up. <laughs> Did she s say who tied her up? Was it Bria? But it, f it was fucking her. God. I'm just like mashing these keys without any disregard at all. Ooh, 15 minutes. Hmm. There and find her. I'm going. Oh, oh. Heaven. You. Oh. Yes. Okay, fuck. Well, let's see how to make... Okay. Yeah. Stay on David. I'm going with Evan after Alice. <laughs> Even after Alice. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm. Mm. Of the park you on. <laughs> Sorry. I will start start from where the ravine oh 13 minutes this is the worst because I know I can't really... I don't think we can technically find her. Yeah. Do we all search? Or just... Okay. Mm. Oh, 12 minutes to go. Oh my God.
to be in danger right now. I uh, took him once. He ain't got shit on me. Yeah, she's my screen. Um. Yeah, got it. Yeah. I will need it to. But, uh, according to part of the story, if you want to search, you can. If you want to see what you're finding in the woods, you did it as well as long as it fits the world. Okay. You mean, and do you mean what I find? Or. What am I looking for? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Okay, by commands. Let's see. Draw switching card. Okay. I'm curious. Boop. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Got it. That's how it works. So we do this here. Even you good man? Evan, okay. Maybe I won't do that, I don't like that. Uh, got it. Yeah, everyone would probably have found out by now. Please tell me she is just missing. That they moved her. How <sighs> Fuck.
Oh man. Mm. Mm. Fucking cargo's park. I mean, the cargo's park on our own coming good. Ugh. Man, this is fuck. The cops are here in front of me. Well, park. I'm trying to get out of the highway. Fuck. Okay. Ah. Threw the money and just bounced. Yeah. I'm not sure how even like go and try to explain. That I found ten thousand dollars in cash. I'm gonna see that again. Oh. Oh, the music's gotten so quiet and melancholy. Oh. Shit. Oh, an impulsive teen just tied it in your trunk again. So she, I can't believe she's gone. So Alice is truthfully dead in that case. She's dead. Um. Yeah. Fucking cold, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think at this point, I think Julie is probably done talking to me. She's just running. We'll let him... Oh, I'm going to... Here... Before I think I'm so fucking cold, guys. I was supposed to babysit tomorrow, guys. Oh, man. found me they won't let me pass Damn, there goes the money, yeah. <sighs> they told me, told me, they, no, I, I get, 
I can't stop. I can't breathe. Please. Please. Please tell me this is a fucking nightmare. Oof. Oh. Spirit of the Woods with the money. Yeah, I think the money's like the last thing on Al Julia's mind. Ooh. Hey, it's Alice. Please leave a message. Oh. Hey, Liz. I hope you are doing well. It's been a while. Um, I'm going to be back in town on Saturday to stay with my dad uh, over winter break. Uh, really excited to see you and Jackson and Coda and everybody. Um, I hope things have been excited to see you, um, and I hope Jackson's gotten his act together, because uh, we haven't really talked much. Bye. Hey, Alice, it's, well, you fucking know who it is. I just, shit. Sorry about last night. I, I just worry, okay? I worry about what people will think. I worry what people will think of me and with you. I know I don't say this enough, but I, I, you're the best thing that ever happened to me, okay? You, you deserve everything. I just don't know if I really am, like, the one that's going to be there for all of it, and just give me a call. I just want to hear you're safe. I want to know you're all right. And for fuck's sakes, fine, fine. First thing, Christmas Eve, we'll go with your plan. We'll go and finally tell everyone. I, I, need, I need to tough it out. I need to be strong about this. And I, I'll do it for you. I, I love you. It's Jack. Look, I fucked up. I, I didn't mean what I said. I think we both got heated. I, I'm happy with who you're with. I'm, you just, you just know who, how she is, how we used to be. You know, we can't pretend like that didn't happen. You know, I'm, I never talk about you two like that. I think you misunderstood, and I think, I think we just gotta talk. Call me back, bye. Hey, Alice, it's Evan. Uh, sorry, I gotta keep this short. The, uh, the Anderson kid just went outside, and I know it's gonna be about five seconds before they start spraying the house with the water, with the water hose. Um, I just wanted to ask real quick, while I still have the guts to do so, uh, if you wanted to maybe go to the movies with me this this weekend. Um, it doesn't have to be anything special. 
Uh, but there, there is something I just wanted to talk to you about, if that's okay. Um, just give me a call back when you get the chance. Uh, I think I hear water hitting the house. I gotta go. Hey, it's me. I just wanted to call and see if you were good after that night. Um, things got a little out of hand. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm heading out. I gotta go run some errands and then I was planning on just stopping by your house, but maybe I'll just give you a call later and see what you're up to. Okay. That was one hell of an experience. What's this? Timing's up. That's it. Do we speak Hi. now? Hi. I think we do. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Everybody How's everybody feeling? Doing, uh. <laughs> so, do we have two deaths? Is, is Evan okay? Did Evan live? Nope. Oh, oh. man. Evan died. Oh man, like I, I've, I, I just have two things to say. One is there, is everybody okay? <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah, is I'm, okay? Good. I'm, I'm good. Okay, that was <laughs> that was a go ahead a sweet experience. Nate, are you okay? Dakota is muted. Dakota, so yeah. Well, I'm, I'm like looking at the uh, the chat. Oh yeah, that was oh, man. that was heavy. Are you okay, Maury? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm good. Uh, it's just like, like I just have to say, like two things. Like one, oh, I think um, he's coming back. Yeah, like one, I never knew uh, how fast ninety minutes can go. Like that felt like it flew by. Yeah, and, like, right. Like, there, was so, there was so much. I like I still wanted to say and do, and like I feel like I didn't get a chance to like talk to everyone I wanted to talk to and say everything I wanted to say. And two, yeah. like those voicemails at the end, like playing over that music and like. Evan's message, what? like, replaying in my head saying, like, she's gone, I was too late. Like, that fucked me up a little bit. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> yeah, there was Your eyes lot. are dead. <laughs> that was fucked. <laughs> oh, are man. you okay, Nate? I'm, I'm good, but man, that was... That was some shit. Yo, law, that... <laughs> can, like, can, can I walk you guys through, like, what I what i pictured like evan had gone through yeah yeah like he he gets there like alice had like texted him like i don't even think that alice like knew who she was texting texting she was just texting somebody um so he gets there and it, it's almost like he was just there like a second too late because by then like there was just mm. no heartbeat no breathing nothing and I imagine he did like try to do CPR and stuff like she had frozen to death. There's, there's no coming back from that. Um, so he's like texting you guys, like trying to say it. And then immediately David comes in and fuck like fucking tackles him and like takes the gun and shoots him in the shoulder. And like, he manages to get enough leeway to like kick, kick David's feet out from underneath him. And then he fucking books it. But He's freezing, he's bleeding, he's not doing good, and whenever he said that he was going to run, that's when David turned back around and shot him directly in the oh. back of the head. Oh, fuck. Did your card say you had to die during this? I'm just curious. Or was that when you chose? Uh, so, it gave me a card, what did it say? Um... It said, you find Alice's body. Uh, why are you now running for your own life? At three minutes, flip a coin. On heads, you escape successfully. On tails, you don't. Stop texting. And the bot flipped for me. I got tails. I immediately just shut up. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking yeah. wild. It's fucking crazy. This is a crazy, crazy fucking game. <laughs> yeah. We, it was like, weird that it, like, turned out like that. Yeah, like it all came together, which is fucking crazy. Yeah, I was kind That's of it. like 
I want to. I want to say, in this, I, I wasn't like you know, seeing where the whole puzzle was going to come together with us giving so much information at the start of it. But once you actually the thick of it, my God, does it all just start to kind of like plop into place right away? It was like yeah. amazing. In the in the middle there, it felt like the clue cards were just like flowing. Like Evan messaged me, and he's like, I found an article about the fucking, the fucking uh, forest, the the park. Um, there's been a bunch of, like, kidnappings there. They never found who did it. And then, like, as I'm replying to him, my card comes in. It's also about the park and about a fire that started there, but, like, the blizzard is stopping people from going, which is why I had to introduce a blizzard. Um, right. It's, like, stopping, like, the fire department from going. And then it was just, like, one on top. Like, I'm trying to reply to people, and, like, they're sending, like, Julia sent me, like, these messages, and I wanted to reply and be like, hey, like, like there were like some like emotional things and I wanted to reply, but then like Evan <laughs> finds a gun and I'm like, what do I do now? Right. Evan finds a gun. <laughs> and then at like fucking at, you know like 25 minutes or whatever the fuck, right. I get this. Right, M King. Like the oh, game, where? Oh. You know, it's like a paper sounds like okay. Oh my god, and it works, but it just Person flows finds you are, so to well. Down the door, it gets you yep. when you're alone. <laughs> one element i really really enjoyed was just the nature of how like poor of a conversational like device texting oh yeah is. this fucking sucks oh like, yeah. yeah this fucking blows but, like this is the worst way to like convey information to a group of people <laughs> but i think and that's what makes 90 minutes though it's like the best way because like oh, yeah. if you were like yeah we're gonna take 90 minutes to play a game and you can't text you can only phone call people and it's just like information <laughs> is conveyed immediately <laughs> like oh yeah <laughs> I agree that's, that's that's exactly my point but i think it works so well because yeah. I, I love the fact that here I am with Julia trying my best to kind of like prep myself up to go and like storm the goddamn train station. Meanwhile, I'm totally oblivious to the group chat saying, hey, David's trying to break into my house. Why is Julia sending me a heartful, you know, admit, like, you know, like, <laughs> simple, you know, sentences in my private chat? Like, what the fuck is your priorities right now, girl? <laughs> Right. There were so many times where, I, where, like, I would leave, like, a one-on-one -on -one DM and, like, reply to something I saw, like, briefly in the group chat and then realize that, like, that was, like, ten messages up and the conversation had already changed. But I was just like, you know what? I already said Charlie's, like, forgetful and unable to focus. So, like, this works for the character. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. My favorite thing was before we started playing, I asked Maury, can Evan have a gun? And he said no. And then I got this. <laughs> a loaded firearm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, just I, laughed. Laughed. I laughed so fucking hard. Oh, my God. oh, man. I fucking adored that location, like, the clue I got was a goddamn place I wanted to set up as where I went and had my big argument with Alice. That was just too fucking perfect. Oh, yeah. Man, uh, that's fucking crazy. It just all came together. Like, what What in the hell? Yeah. It, uh, it's just like, like, it's also crazy that, like, it ended up being David when, like, Julia and uh, mm -hmm. Dakota had, like, sort of, like, beforehand, like, been like, oh, didn't you, like, fucking beat him or something? And then, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I punched him for calling me a cunt or whatever. Yeah. And it was, like, it was just such a setup that it was, like, we just fucking, like, pure randomness. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy how they came together. Yeah, like, it, it was, it was whack that you guys were, like, David left the area, where did he go? And then it was, like, you are now running for your life, Evan, and I was, like, right. <laughs> He's the fastest man alive. <laughs> like, well, that's what I was David's saying, too. The, is the fastest fact man like, alive. The fact that, like, the card was, like, you know, mm -hmm. I roll, or it flipped for me, and I was like, heads. And I was like, okay, he left. And I was like, okay, yeah, I don't think he's here, right? And then you're like, I'm going to look around and blah, blah, blah. And then Evan's like, he's fucking here. Like, <laughs> Yo, he's here, brother. Oh, shit. Even that's why at the end of the, end of the message, I was, or at the end of the um, group chat, I was like, you know, like, we left, and then a couple minutes later, I was like, do they think we see you? Because I was like, I have to, like, live somewhat close for this to make any sort of yeah. fucking sense. Yeah. Oh. I really fucking, fucking loved that... Okay, I mean, there's other things I fucking love, but I want to say, even though my motive was basically that I had to jump to conclusions, make conspiracy theories, and blame myself for everything, I'm still, over the table, I still believe that the bully also was involved in this somehow. Like, they're, like... 
maybe you know they were having a David break into your house, Dakota, or something like that. But I'm still, even though it might be yeah. a, cons- a conspiracy, I actually do believe that. <laughs> so, so like there, there are ten minute cards where there is a second um, person, like a second person responsible. Oh, because um, yeah, it was possible. I was kind cool. of hoping that would be the case here, but it, it wasn't. That would have been perfect. Mm-hmm. That would have been perfect. Uh, God, you're perfect. Wow, that's fucking it, crazy. Was I the only like... one that died? <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alice oh, died. Alice. You and Alice. Don't oh, remind yeah, Alice, me. Alice. I'm so <laughs> torn up about that. Oh it was, man. It was so. It's such a cool way to do it to have like a group chat and then have like personal chats, because like you have like sort of these moments of like character, like like individual character relationships, like really quickly, and you have to sort of like on the fly just be like, okay, this is what our like relationship is right and this is just who we are you can't like set it up and be like okay it's gonna take us like four sessions to really know who we are it's like no i have to just come out the gate like hot right like yeah that's what i love it's like in the group chat like just immediately being like (laughs) also i love how we all fucked up at the beginning (laughs) Yeah. yeah, I well, didn't. Like, yeah, no, I no didn't. Seen her. Yeah, wait, I, I caught it. Did you know where she is? <laughs> and like, and like, I said this because I, I, I think like I, think I, I misunderstood. Asked, somebody asked, I misunderstood. I was like, no, you guys all know that she's missing, no, and she's like know. missing, missing. Charlie does it though. Yeah, I yeah. was my mind both as a character and a player broke there because when it'd be like, you know, as Julia would be like, are y'all? fucking idiots we've known for days yeah <laughs> but I right. like... we all just pretend <laughs> or like wait did i fucking misunderstand that hey hey charlie everything's fine <laughs> i'd be like i'd be like, I'd be like i haven't heard from alice either but you know i'm sure she's okay <laughs> yeah jack is like she's probably just staying at, at like dakota's house or something Dakota's like she's, she's not here <laughs> right so can it i can gone. i uh can i point out one of my favorite things that uh-huh. i was i was super proud of i so one of my character traits was I, I I was supposed to like make kind of make jokes and keep like everyone calm or at least try to, which I was doing in the group chat. But then in like a private chat with Charlie, I was losing my shit. <laughs> yeah, like uh, in my in, in my private messages, I think with everybody else, I like tried to like keep like a, a like a kind of brave face. But like uh, in my message with Evan, I'm like, look, I'm like, I'm like freaking out. Like I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh so yeah, I'm they were both. Myself, man. They 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 had a moment. They were like, "Bro, I'm gonna be full. I'm gonna be fully honest with you. I I'm scared." Like they were both like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, that same exact time, I posted. I think it was. I think it was that message of, "Come on, ladies. There's enough bitchiness here for everybody." Yeah. At the same time, I was like sending a message to Charlie, being <laughs> like, "I think, I think she's at the park." Yeah. Never mind. Like, I'm going to the park, and I'm like, "There's a blizzard outside. I don't think that's a good idea." And I was like, "No, I'm going." <laughs> He's a go. runs faster. I gotta <laughs> go. I gotta see her, man. I don't think yeah. I've ever dropped as many fucks and shits and whatever bombs I could think of in a conversation, let alone an hour and a half that I'd have to this night. And yeah. I think my parts kind of really kind of maybe feel like the most in character, and I, and I couldn't help but gush to this earlier too. Uh, my chat but it was the fact that i have a naturally hard time spelling and i just kind of like leaned into that when it came to playing julia experience okay she's bad at school her phone is probably so shitty she doesn't have autocorrect let's just fucking right. go <laughs> right yeah and that was and like i fucking pounced on that <laughs> like so fast i'm oh, so glad so you did so fast so hard yeah one of those i did current. The second one of those I did uh, like tee you up for it. I'm so glad you went with it. Cause it was like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> I think it was like the your. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is that one. Yeah, that was yeah, good. You're 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 sus, bitch. And I said your bitch. <laughs> I know that's my favorite part. That's the exact Evan. moment I set that up, and I'm glad Evan, you went with Evan it. Being, right, Evan coming in like the fucking nice guy, and being like, hey, ladies, please calm it the fuck down, it, please. <laughs> My queen, she's missing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's crazy. I think, you know, 
can we all just admit that we all care about Alice? Shut up, Evan. Shut the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up, Evan. Evan, Evan no God. one likes you. <laughs> I should have said that. Evan's I'm perfect. Over here simping. Jack's over here complaining that life isn't fair and he just wants to drive away. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, like, I wanted to reply to that and be like, we'll take that trip, man. Don't worry about it. But then, like, Evan found a gun. <laughs> 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 Evan found a gun. <laughs> Because, like, cause like Jack, and, Jack and I had, like, like had a little conversation. We were, like, he, he, gave, he gave me some more information. We were, we were, like, on the road to reconciliation. And then mm -hmm. Evan finds a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Evan goes, what do you have? A gun. No! no! Hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me, oh. let me get the fucking, let me get the screenshot because it made me laugh so hard. Hold on. <laughs> You have a gun. No! I, I went and googled pictures of guns in the snow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. He, 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 here, here's a screenshot. Because, like, Evan didn't know how to respond, so he's just like, hey. Um, gun. Gun? Gun? <laughs> gun. What do? Gun. Wait. In my chat, I was talking to, uh, I think it was Jess. Jess was like, uh, I said, hey guys, what does a pregnancy test look like? <laughs> And, uh, so this is definitely a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this was um, I. I just love like the the beginning of all of the conversations, like the personal ones. They're so funny. Like the one with uh, Charlie, right? Dakota and Charlie sort of growing up together, right? Charlie's like, hey, Coda, there's a lot to come back to. How are you holding up? I'm like, it sucks. See, I'm fucking scared, honestly. Like, and there's just like a very like. Oh, we know each other. We're comfortable with each other. The fucking first, the beginning of the conversation with Julia is like, Julia coming at me. He's like, okay, listen, back off, ducker, duck, fuck, fuck. fuck. <laughs> ducker, <laughs> fucker. There's oh my god, that. you can see all of our messages. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm good. I, I, I'm editing it right now to get rid of like all the um, like all, all the character crazy. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh so we can um, go and, and see all, all the like, conversations, maybe. Like, the, the final link. And uh, right. it actually, it doesn't just. It doesn't just show all the messages; it plays it through, like in real time. With oh like, my god, the, really? Oh, this is sick. There's like a second. There's like an additional box for the playlist, and like it plays the music as the the game is running. Um, oh, cool. you know, I, I was really hoping this would work, um, so I'm glad that it did. That's cool. That's, That's fucking sick. That rocks. Yeah. I would love Has to go camera back. Been trying to connect this whole time. My camera. Yeah. Oh shit! I guess so. <laughs> I would uh, love. I don't to... have my camera software running, so it, it wasn't gonna do anything. That's cool. Oh, I, I want to go I, back I just and it was just. The YouTube thing. Yeah, I really want to go back and kind of watch it from all your different perspectives because that'd be so interesting. And I agree with you, though, straight up, uh, Nate. How vastly different all the conversations started. Like, you know. Charlie calling me out, like, "Hey, are you two a thing?" Jack, like, "Hey, you know, was that about you?" Dakota, let's fucking go. Pulls out the guns. <laughs> right. I think yeah. I'm, 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 I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed I didn't go and actually like. I'm so bummed I actually get to go and like and talk a little bit at all to Evan until the very end. <laughs> yeah, that and that's the thing. I. Somebody said you I didn't like. I debated on him for a second of being like texting Charlie and being maybe like, the subject matter of course Evan's like, gonna fucking like white knight and like <laughs> save her but then I was like the I don't depressing know, go I'll down. save you like, my princess thing, that, which that you know is not so to do dark. all the time but that's like a small I wasn't small ready to take dislike. that leap yet so I was like <laughs> I'll, we'll see how it plays out he died <laughs> right and then he's like, dead yeah. Like, that's some it, shit that would fuck me. Imagine more character if options? she had sent that text, though. Imagine hearing that Evan died trying to save Alice. She would have looked back at that text and been like, well, fuck. Well. 100%. Oh, for yeah. sure. And that's part of the reason I was like, I can't send... Like, I, as Nate, felt bad. Like, you know, like, when you're playing a video game, <laughs> you're like, oh, I, I can't, like, shoot this NPC. It's valid. It's valid. Bad. <laughs> like, yeah. So... I was, I was, like, literally, like, I can't... I can't send this message because I thought. can't let Dakota live with that. <laughs> like, as Nate, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable letting Dakota just be like, no, I sent that, and now I have to just live with that. <laughs> uh, two things. Uh, one minor, one uh, major. Um, I feel that the, the minor thing is I feel so weird for me because if you ever talk to me at all outside this game, I use GIFs and emojis up the wazoo and only using just the 
middle finger emote was an experience for me, uh, having to come to myself like that. But yeah. the, the bigger thing is, it's, it out, man. yeah, the bigger thing is that it was been asked because um, uh, in my chat, Mahedi wanted to hear the opinion of. Oh yeah, I was yeah, gonna bring it up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you guys all not like about the game? Uh, frankly, for me. I'd say like the heavy subject matter, but that's a small dislike. Like overall, I really am impressed by this game and frankly would love to try it again sometime. Um, here's my joking answer. The fact that there's not a pause button because I have to pee so bad. Um, <laughs> serious, serious though. Um, oh man. I, I think... For me, I, I think, and, and this was like stressing me out earlier today because I was just already having a bad day at work and I just could not think of anything. Um, I didn't fully think of Evan's secret during it. And wow. the image I had of Evan in my head, oh, I was sitting, uh, Evan's secret was that Alice had told him something in secret and he was afraid to bring it up in fear of becoming a suspect. And I'm sitting there, I'm like trying to think. I was like, what in the hell would Alice have told Evan of all people when Dakota's right there? Right. I, you know, I think one thing that I don't. Exactly. It's not that I don't like it. It's just one thing that I'm a little bit kind of like, I don't know how I feel about it. Is that I don't, like you were saying like how um, Flint, you were saying how like, oh, I, you know. Kind of like, hey, I don't like to play this again and see what it goes. I'm kind of the opposite. Like, I kind of don't want to play this again. <laughs> I never want to play this ever again. <laughs> well, because it's like, I feel like it's like I'm almost like, like, our Alice is dead. You yeah. know? And it's yeah, like, I'm kind of like, that. I don't, like, doing it again almost feels like it's like, well, shit. Like, I, here's the thing. I would love to watch five people who haven't played this go through it. I would love to watch that. Cause that's oh, yeah. cool and like just seeing it unfold would be sweet but like i think for me it's like i you know going through it again i'm like oh man my charlie was you know moody and evan was uh, natty and jack was ryan and uh, julia was flint and like now it's like oh man like could i do it differently i don't know it's just, <laughs> yeah. it's a little i have bigger. heard that i have heard a scene as a common uh, critique of the game so is the expansion pack kind of like kill that problem I think, it, I think it gives more characters that you can play as right i'd love that yeah, yeah. Uh, so go ahead the that expansion the expansion does uh add uh, more playable characters that you can kind of like swap out with the existing characters good because that's like, one thing more I would locations love to do. Uh, more searching cards more suspects um but like i'm kind of like i'm i'm like the opposite of i'm kind of like in the middle i would say not fully the opposite but like i would be down to play this game again but not anytime soon like i would need some time to decompress and like oh yeah oh yeah kind definitely. of like and kind of like let this game like fade into the memory and then i would like to play the game again but like as a different character yeah so, that, that's where that. i'm standing yeah like i don't think i would want to be charlie again and like i like the charlie is typically the facilitator but it doesn't have to be like somebody mm -hmm. else could be the facilitator um but, um, yeah, I think I would, I would want to play a different character and see how that goes. Because, like, there are so many different Alice's and there are so many different combinations I can come up. Mm -hmm. And, like, right. there are different endings. Like, Alice could survive. Um, yeah, Alice true. could have been found dead and Evan could have Evan could have lived. Um, sometimes you find Alice alive, but then the person that finds her gets killed. Like, there, there are different permutations and I would, I, I would kind of want to see that. And I would also watch other people playing it as well. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I would love to... Well, actually, before I, before I say my opinion, Ryan, did you have an opinion that you would like to share? I didn't want to talk over you. I wish there were smaller uh, interactions uh, from the bot, like the card flips. Yeah. Like, they were all major stuff, but, like, it would have been nice if there was minor stuff that prompted conversations between characters that may not be talking much. Like, yeah. I genuinely don't think I messaged Dakota until after someone asked me, hey, have you talked to Dakota? And I was like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We started uh, the group chat at 9.38, and I didn't text Jack until 10. Oh, no. Oh, God. I yeah. Similar with Evan. I don't think I texted Evan until, like, yeah, almost exactly 10. 
I was about to say, I thought you texted me pretty... Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, yeah, you... You were, like, the first person to message me. Yeah. Oh, yes. But anyway, that's what I meant. Like, there was no real reason to do, like, individual texts because, like... If you didn't define your relationship with them with one of the two hunches, or not hunches, but the other ones, mm -hmm. like, there was no real reason to text the other person yet. And I was like... Yeah. I, you it, know what? Not that I would want to have, like, assigned something to every single person, but having mm -hmm. it, like, say, like, like... Jack has a hungering for a hot dog. He knows Evan <laughs> loves hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. So that that was that was this something kind of that uh, yeah oh, the man. the relationship thing was something that I had noticed pretty early on. Um, and this is nothing against you guys. This is just how it kind of turned up. Um, guys are boring as fuck. <laughs> you you guys all had relationships with each other, and then I was just like, uh. Hi guys, why am I in this group chat? <laughs> Alice is kind of friends with me, uh, but like you guys already had like it seemed like relationships that had spanned from like for, from <laughs> wow, years. Oh, I felt yeah. bad because I was going to make you my ex-best friend or used to be best friend. And then I was like, it would be interesting if like Julia was my old best friend. And then I'm like, yeah. whoa. You're eating and, my and, sister out on the hood of my car. Yeah, what? And, and again, and, and, yeah, and again like, that's that's just how it worked out. And, like, I'm not, like, mad about it. It worked out for the best. I but I really I was sitting there, like, little, as you guys uh, were picking your relationships, I was sitting there. I was like, yeah. man, feels bad being a simp tonight, huh? <laughs> Well, so like, let me get I, an F in the chat. <laughs> I, I, I like, I was kind of conscious of that. So like, my initial DMs were to um, Jack and Dakota because obviously, like, we grew up together. Right. We bought, we were all really close with Alice. Um, but but then, I was gonna message Julia eventually, but then Julia messaged me, um, and I was like, okay, that surprised me. I wasn't expecting that at all. And then I decided to reach out to Evan, like, hey, I know that you care about Alice too. Like, how are you holding up? Yeah. I, I did appreciate that. Yeah. It did it did start the spiral of Evan's demise, but I did yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We all knew Evan was going to die. I feel like it's my fault. <laughs> no, Evan was stupid. I yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I love. I am so happy that the relationships went the way they did because like they were they I feel like they were all fitting of the relationships really like closely. So, like, with, you know, Jack texting me, like, immediately, like, immediately, like, just ribbing me, uh, like, you know, not like, hey, how you doing? You know, like, it's, what have I? He's like, hey, Julie's been around our house a lot. I know I don't, I know I don't text you at all because that's weird as fuck, but there's something up with you two. Did you get replaced as BFF? And I just said, oh, fuck you, Jay. Like, <laughs> and then I just responded with double horns emoji like smiling face. Emoji. <laughs> It's uh, like, oh, yeah, these people text, like, they don't text all the time, but they probably, like, you know, I mean, Jack's probably, like, Dakota's older brother in a way. Like, yeah. so, like, they, she's constantly being, like, your brother's, like, a fucking asshole. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Julia and Dakota, I'm just, like, chef's kiss. Yeah. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Our relationship evolved over time, and it yeah. started in a really, it started in a bad place, and it ended in a place that was, like, me basically telling Julia not to go to the park because Alice wouldn't want Alice would want me I to make like sure that. that she was like okay. That yeah, I get the impression that Evan is designed to kind of know what's going on, but unfortunately, your prompts didn't allow you to kind of know what's going on, which I think kind of killed any 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 tension or possible conflict for you and I to even interact, especially with how I made up Julia as such a combative character yeah evan was designed to die a simp yeah well, it, it's like i i was seriously like brainstorming like like evan's secret and stuff and because it, it was always just like there were three factors that i needed to that i needed to uh take into account the fact that i had a crush on alice the fact that I had to ask Alice out to the movies and the fact that Alice would have told me a secret that would have made me a suspect. So oh. I was like, 
specifically, the secret is Alice. Uh, you promised Alice Husby that you would hide something for her. Oh yeah, hide. Yeah, hide something. So like, for her. It, it, it could have been something physical, but we yeah. decided to go with a secret, and, that, and that's fine. Um, yeah. Well, I was like sitting there. I was like, what? What would like Alice give Evan like physically that would like make him scared of being a suspect, but then also have him turn around and be like hey let's go to the movies yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. we we could talk about it. it it was just like i was sitting there i was like what in the world could alice have given him and like yeah. I, I i even did go to like maury for advice because i was stumped yeah, and yeah. i i was just he he mentioned like maybe a gift from julia and i was like mm-hmm. well maybe but then why would he ask her to go to the movies you know maybe be like oh that's yeah, a, yeah. a weird thing well, for your friend to give you but well, I, I see what your problem yeah, was. Like they were really like, good friends, I, best I said, friends. <laughs> go ahead. I said, Corey. I said, I said maybe she gave you something to hold on to. And said it was a gift from somebody, but she didn't say who it was from. Yeah. And like, and like maybe that would make you start to think that she's seeing somebody, but like you don't know who. I, I, I think that was my suggestion. Yeah, it was something along those lines, yeah. but it it also just had me thinking. It was like, but what? But if someone was in the picture and he knew about it, would Evan still take the shot? And I was, like, yeah. sitting there trying to think of, like, my character in that way. And yeah. then I was, like, looking at the character trait of, oh, he's trying to keep everyone calm so he can, he can like, hide the true fear that he's feeling for Alice. And I'm, like, I was, like, well, he seems like a pretty okay guy. He's a simp. Yeah. But he seems like a pretty okay guy. You know, right. he's not an incel. He's just a simp. Yeah. Oh, he's, you like, know, all women you... are queens. <laughs> When you think about it, it's almost kind of like tragically beautiful in a way that the one character who really had like the probably like you know I would say the most clueless grasp of what that's going on like the greater things of her of their group end up getting the most tragic of like endings endings yeah, yeah. it's like someone who May was like yeah like someone who was so oblivious got the most like serious and consequential of it's just ah yeah, i i love it with just how beautifully tragic it is her. yeah right like yeah the person who was like a relationship wise the farthest away from alice was the one who suffered the most exactly as i was trying to say i couldn't get the words out thank yeah. you <laughs> no, I, I definitely got that flint i i loved being in dweeb chat talking about you know what I didn't think I was gonna fall in love with Evan like I am, but I actually love this guy. And then, like three minutes later, I got the card that was like, "You're oh, dead." Oh, I was like, oh, oh like, no! no. <laughs> I was like, "Oh." Before I, before I forget, because uh, it's actually an interesting question. Like, uh, it was asked, um, "What can you imagine? Imagine this kind of game? Would it kind of like what, what kind of like genres would it work? You know, with what kind of like types of stories?" And I mean, with this being such kind of like a missing persons, mystery side of thing, with the whole texting kind of scheme, I could kind of see it working in some kind of like sci-fi kind of uh, setup where we're all like on different, like, I don't know, like a very vast space station, kind of like an alien scenario. Like uh, mm-hmm. this is agents or mechanic 71 reporting in, heard a weird sound down in section BC. Hey, you know, John, up, upstairs, did you see anything? Like, like weird acid dripping down here, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Like that sounds alien, like a mothership. Alien. That could yeah. work, yeah. Like a real, can... oh, yeah, mothership is a perfect like kind I could... of alternative to it. Yeah. I could see that. I could see that working, but I don't know if it would have the same, like, emotional hit that this does oh like, no no yeah. i can see, emotional like, I can see myself thinking about this specific game that we played in this specific story that we told for like days like mm-hmm. like yeah. um like even like just with charlie like i i don't know if, if it really came through but i kind of tried to play it like he might care for dakota a little bit more than just as somebody he's, who he's known for forever but like oh, oh he, yeah he knows that it would never work that way, so he kind of just Aww. like tries to be like really supportive, um, and that's why he was like, "No, I'm, I'm coming over there, and I'm gonna like stay with you until we find out that David's not, you know, here." Yeah, well, and I think that out of everybody, like while it was happening, while like David was there, Dakota was only texting Charlie. Yeah. So like. I think that that also helped kind of not like it was sort of under the radar and it was not something that like you and I talked about. It was not something that we like ever like actually fully came up. But I think that that was like a sort of unspoken, like, 
yeah, like, if these two people sat and thought about it, like, yeah, we Maybe. do kind of make a good, like, Yo, we'd fuck. Outfit. <laughs> look, 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 I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be the first to say it. I'll fuck you, dude. Same, same. Hey, we'd, yeah, wait, same. We'd fuck. I'd ship it. I was sitting here, I was like, oh my god, this is so sweet, and then Ryan said that, and I was like, that's, that's I'm having Ryan flashbacks. Do you expect any less? That's Ryan's that. special it's so dude. fucking funny. I just, it's the worst timing. That's like my, that's my stand. It's, yeah, it's that, called worst timing. That's your superpower. Yeah. That's my superpower, Captain. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds Ooh. me of our last, uh, The Zone game. How oh, oh, yeah. Hey guys, I think we might just be really good role players. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, are we just super good at telling a story? And I <laughs> just want to like add one more thing, like to to like this piggyback off of what I said about that. I think that's also why Charlie kind of reached out to Evan, because like I said, I I don't think it was really any big secret how he felt, and he kind of like felt that kinship of like, I know that you uh... care about somebody that you can't tell either the unrequited um, so. love oh. Oh. <laughs> charlie reaching out to evan being like look bro we're both simple <laughs> <laughs> no i wouldn't go that far i wouldn't go that far i'll be, be, a, far, I'll be like, a simp uh, with you dog but like i kind of know how you feel a little bit over here he yeah, said big simpin <laughs> oh man yeah, no, that's, that rocks that's great. i just also like the soundtrack was sick too oh like, that was so good oh, the, yeah. the ebb and flow of it um the One animation thing, uh, was beautiful too, even if it is just repeating. Yeah. It's so pretty. Uh, they just passed the, the Stretch Gold release, uh, a, a new playlist uh, with Ooh. with the expansion. Ooh. So I'm excited to see what that is. Um, I'm excited to read up those characters. Yeah. Um, I was well, gonna say now I changed my mind. Now I do want to play it again. So uh -huh. hey, wait a minute. Oh no, uh, you no take backs. <laughs> you said you, the, you can totally fucking the, take that back because I think. What's the more? Uh, I was, I was, uh, the one thing that does kind of suck about being Charlie is like, obviously, uh, when we're playing with five people, everybody gets two cards. Um, Charlie's card is always a 90 minute card. And that's the one that's like, hey, send this message to, to kick the game off. So like, you only get one other card that like, yeah, the story. Uh, uh, bad, and yeah, and, like, I felt bad because Ryan messaged me at one point too. And he's like, hey, am I supposed to get more cards? <laughs> like, if you don't get a card, like, are you assumed to just like be at home or something? And I'm like, I mean, like, unless you leave, you're at home. But yeah, uh, he's like, I only got two cards, and like, everybody only gets two cards. But I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like they could probably like. I know it's like every ten minutes or so, but I think it could probably be a little bit. I don't know what time is appropriate, but it feels like also if you're like, messaging a lot, you know, like if you're very like quick, like kind of how we were, we're constantly like flurry of messages all over the place. Like I feel like, there was certainly a moment at the end when. David was at my door and like banging on it and just being crazy like th that felt so long which is like maybe how it's supposed to feel like I, if I'm being yeah and oh I'm yeah of, like you know from yeah. a social you know from a role-playing perspective like in the character I'm like yeah this is terrifying I feel like this is lasting forever but then also as a player I'm like yeah I have to it's a to, at 15 minutes right but it was a, at the t it gave me the card at like 20 or 25 so it's like 10 minutes I gotta wait to flip a coin like I get a lot of time. Like, there's a lot of shit happening in the group chat, and I just got to be like, I'm hiding in the closet. That's I, don't know, I like when Evan like stopped responding, and I was like, he was in the park, and then Evan says like, I was in the park for like ten minutes, and everyone's like, Hey, has anyone from heard from Evan in a while? And I'm like, Oh, so Evan died. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, even like saying to my chat, I was like, "Yeah, I haven't fucking dead, dude." <laughs> yeah, I do want to say, uh, Nate. Also, it's thirty minutes. Not yeah. Easy. yeah. Um, From I, as a facilitator, it, it does send me like the, the breakdown, but it doesn't tell me what the cards are. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Nate. That doesn't surprise me um, by like the time length that, because, <sighs> hey, the one horror guy listens to a lot of. Uh, uh, that's not meat stories and real life horror break-ins. So, yeah. So many people say that my god, it feels like it lasted hours when it was just ten minutes. So, right. I mean, I applaud the. I mean, 
the the game makers were recreating that, but man, that 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 you're right. That that can be tough to role play out. Like, he's still banging. Yeah, well, what? Especially, it's, yeah, especially over text. Like, it's he's still time. here. So like, I just played it off as like, I'm gonna just put my phone on. Like you had said, put your phone away and like just hide. And I was like, that's a good way to just like set my phone down and like wait for like ten minutes and just. Well, I said long. Like, I said put it on silent because like you technically like, could hide and like you if you wanted yeah. to, you could have like amped up like. I think he broke through the door. I, I hear him rummaging downstairs. Right. I think he's coming upstairs, and then he yeah. got, he left. Um, right. So like that that is a way to like take it and still be yeah. like engaged. Right. Yeah. One thing yeah. I think I... that I oh go ahead no go ahead. Right. I, I was just gonna I was just gonna say Nate I feel what like one hundred percent I I know how you feel because when I got that ten minute card that was like why are you now running for your life at three minutes you the, the coin will flip and it'll tell you if Evan lives or dies and I'm just sitting there I'm like. Oh, and I'm and like, at some point, I was Love like, that. I'm just going to mute my phone and hide. So I grabbed like a D20. And at that point, I was just rolling like my chances. I was like, okay, well, just just hypothetically, uh, even even numbers, Evan lives, odd numbers, Evan dies. I don't want to talk about how many odd numbers I got. <laughs> <laughs> You, you willed it into the universe. I guess so. I was just you like, I don't know this, what right? to do. Unless there was supposed to be the, the You did this. Man. One thing I think I would like to do in the future is just really, like, internalize the secret a little bit better. Because, um, like, my secret was that you and Alice snuck out to do something you weren't supposed to the night before she vanished. What was it? Um, and then the voicemail was making sure she's okay after that night. So, like, I had talked to Julia after, like... Julia said, like, hey, you know, we got into an argument and she left. And I was like, when was this? And she's like, the night before she disappeared. And I was like, we went to a party. Like, she must have left and then left you and then come to the party, like the house party. And I was like, talking about it. And it was like, Julia was like, did you leave her alone? Did anything happen? I was like, no, nothing happened. Like, blah, blah, blah. I only left her for like a minute. But I think if I was thinking ahead a little bit and I kind of had remembered my secret better, I think I would have been like, yeah, she like she's she was fine, but like David was there and he like you know called her a bitch under his breath and then she like called him out on it because she was kind of drunk and then they got into like a whole like he just looked like he was like fucking he wanted to like kill her right and then just like leave it at that and then we left you know so nothing happened but then they could like kind of feed into the whole like because obviously I have to leave her alone at some point like I didn't go to her house and stay the night yeah. So I could have been like, oh, you know, I dropped her off at the end of her street because obviously she didn't want to just like, you know, she wanted to sneak in. She didn't want to show up drunk at her house. And David took a fucking selfie with her like, <laughs> got your bitch. What a bitch no. move on his part, too. I honestly thought how you played it during the game was phenomenal, honestly. Like, it gave me a perfect uh, opening for my secret, which was I got an anonymous uh, message about uh, Alice and my relationship and... It was just a perfect kind of leading to be like, hey, do you leave her alone? Like, yeah, well, I got this creepy-ass message that she traded up from third class to first. And it was just I, – I thought it was just a great setup for mine and yours. It was just mm, – I thought it was juicy, personally. Yeah, so. yo, I really liked that a lot, too. And I honestly, I think that that would have been – like, that worked better in the moment. I think just after the fact, looking at it, I was like, oh, man, that would have been cool to fit that in. But I, I like what we, what we did with it. I like the fact yeah, that yeah. Like, embrace your choices. You did great, buddy. You did fantastic. <laughs> yeah, there was a point where I was expecting there to be a message, and like the minutes just went by, and I was like, oh, nothing. <laughs> Is it a secret? <laughs> nobody, nobody likes Jack. <laughs> oh no. I, I, I tr like I, I messaged Jack a few times, but it was like th there was that little bit in the beginning, and then there was that little bit at the end where I was like, "Oh my gosh, she's at the park!" And then it just kind of going downhill from there. Uh, I think yeah, Jack said told him to just grab the gun. You need it. And I was like, <laughs> "Okay, cool." <laughs> he grabbed that gun. Um, oh, I, I will. Something that just kind of like shook me to my core though was after Evan was like, "She's gone." Julia messaged him being like, please tell me she's just missing, that they moved her. Meanwhile, Evan's like running for his life and can't respond. Um, I love I'm that. I'm not going to lie yeah. for a moment. That's how I interpreted that message. She's gone. I'm like, oh, did how could she be gone? Like, where the fuck did she go? Yeah, how could and, she escape? And, and, and then the realization slowly, like, I that was, was so in character that the, res, that the fucking, I did the exact it, it fucking just sunk Same. in. I'm like, oh, no, she's gone. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was so fucked. Oh my god. I like, you said that. You said she'd gone. I was too late. I said, what? The, that first what? That was my legitimate reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, how about... she left? And then like when Julia said, What do you mean gone in all caps? I was like, Oh my fucking god, I literally fell for it. Like I just like fucking like I fell mm-hmm. right into the fucking mm-hmm. thing. I was like, I thought, oh yeah, she left. Like, where did she go? Yeah, that's and then, literally yeah, how I thought. How I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the message cut off and then it was like a keyboard smash. I love that. Yeah, yeah. That, was, yeah. that was Evan getting tackled to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lo- I loved all the misspellings and random shit that you are throwing in there. Like after you got to the park, that was so fucking good. So fucking good. And my yeah, my I... Zai, this from Julia's point of view, like first it was like hearing that was like you know disbelief, questioning, to just like full stone cold murder, and then when I had her got stopped by the cops, just full on despair fucking spare man yeah like i never mentioned this to anyone really but i wanted to bring it up in the deep debrief at least but in the voicemail me or her saying i love you was technically the first time she ever tried to say it to alice oh, i had oh, a feeling I it, yeah. it, felt that. the feeling in that flip the feeling in it and then the fuck afterwards like you're like you almost were like oh no that i fucked that up I was like, oh, no, don't yeah. say that. Chef, I was like, Chef come gets. on. No. It's just like the fucking te- like the text after text after text that Julia was sending like at 11.03 in the group chat. I was like, oh, my God, stop. I'm going to fucking cry. And then, I'm going like, to bomb. And then literally the voicemail, like when it finished after I said, like, Julia, I think we see you. And then you texted that and I was like okay and then the music changed and then it like did the like the phone ringing and then it started with the voicemail from Charlie I literally I was like am I gonna fucking cry right now (laughs) Uh, (laughs) my kid and uh, kid my kid and god I was like whoa what's happening right now (laughs) I think I think the like because like no one didn't like nobody was like do I unmute now? Like we were all just kind of like sitting in silence, like unsure if we muted, but it kind of like helped like settle that. Like it was like, so like such powerful, like voicemails. And I, I, like, I forgot that I had made my voicemail have something to do with like babysitting in the background. (laughs) Yeah. And and, then one of, one of Evans, one of Evans's uh, last messages was like, you know how some people, when they're about to die, like, their priorities kind of get scrambled because, like, the mm-hmm. reality of it sitting in? Mm-hmm. Like, right. one of Le- one of Evanson's last messages was, I was supposed to babysit tomorrow, guys. Who's going to watch the kids? Yeah. And then oh, the voicemail of him babysitting, I was like, oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. Oh. Yeah. Guys, I got to like, babysit tomorrow. Like, I was like, oh. I'm not... I'll- I'm not gonna lie. Like wh- when those voicemails kicked in, like my, like I don't know what it was, but my eyes started tearing up. Like I couldn't help it. Like, like you know, oh. it happened. It's with the fucking music, man. It yeah. In, and then it, like with the fucking voices, and like nobody was being like super like, like everyone. It, it was like nobody knows yet. Like the voicemails, like everyone's like, oh, it's fine, you know. But like we'll chat more tomorrow. Like it's gonna be fine. It's not a big deal. And it's like. It's like, oh God, oh fuck, oh no! And then, <laughs> well, it's all every, wrong. There's, there's also like, out. yeah. There's also two ways you can play the voicemails. Like you can just do it where it goes straight into the voicemails, or you can do the Alice greeting. And I chose to do the Alice greeting, and I'm, I'm like, so glad you did. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, Never God. ever not use that option. Use it every time, please. Yeah. Your hubris. Uh. Yo, did anyone else think that, and like, I'm pretty sure it was just the tension of the situation. The telephone ringing went on for so long. It, it felt so like, it long. felt like a bullet getting shot into my chest. I, oh my God. No I, joke, I, no joke, I, mint. Yes. No cap. Every, yeah, that's, and that's no cap. <laughs> hey, that's no cap, man. No, that's no cap, bud. Um, oh, but yeah, I felt the exact same way. It was like, ring ring and i was like oh my god and i was like after the I, want phone, I, was like, I was like somebody fucking answer this phone and then i was like oh it's fucking alice's phone oh god fucking damn it what do you think i fucking knew evan was gonna die and that was just fucking evan's phone <laughs> oh. <laughs> i i probably hey, need evan, to uh me. 
I probably Thanks, need Jack. <laughs> I probably need to end my uh, stream soon because I've been going this for about yeah. four and a half hours. But I want to at least give this final thought before I do leave. But it's because of that kind of final moments that kind of sets immersive, emotional impact at the end is why I'm excited to try this again, whether it is with the same uh, characters or the new ones, which I think I was going to say earlier is so I think that's what this game really needs. But above all else, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this with you all. This was fucking phenomenal, and I cannot wait for the next experience, whether it's Alice or The Zone or something else. It was a pleasure, friends, and God... I felt so lucky to be a part of this with you all. If this was, if can this I is... say fuck? Yes, that, that, that's your third it. one. <laughs> you, you, could have said, you could have said fuck the entire time. I'm not sure why you didn't say fuck, honestly. <laughs> you, say, I, you ask if you could say fuck. No, I feel the exact same way. Yeah, it's really an awesome experience that I don't think that yeah. I was expecting to be as awesome as it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm thoroughly impressed. I want to check out more of what this uh, group has done. And uh, quite frankly, if this is the only time I ever get a chance to play this game, I am quite happy it was with you four. Aww, Dances. <clears throat> Dancing. Flex Dancing. Up. And that's no cap. <laughs> that's, that's no cap. cap <laughs> oh. I cut. I, 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 tr like, th there definitely is something about this text format that, like, legitimately made me feel like I was in this character's shoes. I think it's yes. just because, like, like, oh yeah, I was just sitting on my couch, staring on my phones, like switching b between the channels and like typing and like <laughs> typoing and backspacing and typing. That uh, like, oh my god, I couldn't think of anything else but being this character with you guys. Yeah. So like, like That's what I love about it. That point where like into the David character. was trying to break into your house and like, like you messaged me after and you're like, I think I'm okay. And I said, I think mm -hmm. I forgot how to breathe for for a while there. <laughs> I legitimately was holding my breath for bits there. Like I didn't yes. realize it, but I was. Yeah. I always have, like I think, with you here all I home. think what like helps with oh, that is is because it's text based because like when you when you get into character like sometimes when you get into character and like the two characters are face to face that's one thing especially when it's like online like uh you can get into character you can get into mm -hmm. the character but mm -hmm. it, you know that it's not like the real thing because you know you're you're not really face to face if you're yeah, like playing online, really for example. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really an elf. <laughs> not um, cry. But in 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 text in text based, like you're literally texting, like you're literally doing, like you're literally in the group chat. Like these right. people are sending emojis. I was sending gifts all over the place. Like it right. it feels so real Can because like more? if you yeah if you were. If you were like actually that character, you wouldn't be able to see what's going on with these characters. Like in D and D, for the most part, like like for example, when Shade was making that fucking deal, like Maury, you were sitting right there, you were listening to it. But in this game, there was stuff happening behind the scenes that you couldn't see. Yeah, yeah. Like I you didn't know what was it. happening. You guys didn't know Evan died until after the game. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and that's just, like, we all get there, and we have, like, we leave, like, if this is a movie, right, we're ending the movie as everyone's arriving at the park, like, just sort of, like, looking out into the woods, not knowing what happened. Yeah. Which is, like, fucked, A. And B, like, so, so good. There was, yeah, the text part of this, the whole format of, like, texting it, is like there were so many times when i was like texting either like you know charlie or i was texting you know jack or i was texting the group chat and julia would i get like a little notification from julia at the top and like there was like a legitimate like i was so deep in the character that there was a legitimate like i was like ugh. like <laughs> as i got the like notification julia and then i would like finish what i was typing and i'd go like okay and i go to look at it and i'm like like this bitch, like, <laughs> just like, like, start really like typing something out and then like look at it and then delete it and type it again, and then delete it. And then I was like, okay, all right, hold on, wait a minute, what am I gonna do? Okay, <laughs> so, I, it so I take good. that as a uh, as a point of a, you know, I think that's a compliment. They have a hard time talking. Yeah, about it. <laughs> Actually, I have, I have one question for you guys. Yeah, no, in your own heads, blue. what do you, all of you, in your own heads. It's a blue. Like, blue. if you had to write an ending for this, what do you think, like, happened? Like, what, how do you think it ended? 
what happened to David? Did he get away? Did he get arrested? Like, motherfucker had a gun? Was there a shootout? Oh, David's hunting down the rest of the group. No fucking doubt. No cap, yeah. dude. The guy's gonna fucking cap us. <laughs> yeah, that's no cap. Actually, there's a lot of caps. He's about to really cap yeah. us all. That's actually, like, a, a good question, because, like, part of, part of this debrief is, like, wrapping up any loose ends that we might want to, like, kind of, yeah. kind of like, give an And I was so curious. Uh, in my head, I think, as, like, we're looking out, and you can tell me if you don't feel this way, uh, I, I think as we're looking out, like uh, into the woods like seeing julia and like the re realization sets in like i do think like charlie would try to hold dakota's hand like <laughs> in this like in this yep. moment of just like despair um and i do think david got shot like i think he just got lit up by the cops as he was trying to get away because i don't want that person to like have another happy day or another no. moment on this planet <laughs> <laughs> oh full I... stop yeah yeah like yeah. After Julia did her, you know, one last kind of like sob, she would just go full on, like, action girl mode. I guess the thing, like beast mode. Yeah, yeah, beast mode. If this was like Feral. an upbeat, you know, kind of mystery thriller, she is full on kill. She would be there helping the cops. She would probably tackle the bastard or get at least one punch in, just for that that nice like uh, theoretic uh, story, you know, dramatic beat. Um, yeah. If this was like a happy, very happy tale, she would find you no know, Alice and maybe find some way to re bring her back. But if this was like a, a real serious, true to life kind of thing, she probably would have been planted to the ground, sobbing, fetal position in the tears for a long ass while, blaming herself. And I can't stretch my imagination to know what she would do next because to her, oh, that yeah. moment, that would be everything. There would be no moment beyond that in her future then yeah, that's you don't move past that yeah oh uh, jack what I, do you think oh, I, Charlie, I, what do you think i do also think that like going through this and like the conversation i had with jack would have like reconciled that and like we would have become closer I, I i think charlie would be making more frequent drives up to silent falls moving forward yeah uh, or maybe even reconsidering like moving back in with his dad Evan, what like, would you do? Closer to everybody. What would you do, Evan, after the <laughs> rot? <laughs> I, I would rest in peace. Fucking perish. Rip. <laughs> R.I.P. in pieces. Uh, I would become a uh, worm food or possibly ashes, depending on what I would become. Mm -hmm. I think I'd become a revenant, and I would just haunt <laughs> <and laughs> right down David. Crazy. You know, I've been crazy before. They locked me up Evan, until I died. Until I died. Yep, I've Evan, been before. Evan, Evan, me ten you... feet underground. Evan, your eyes suddenly open before you stand a demon. They offer you your life back. In, Wait a minute. In, in, order, in order to get vengeance oh, no, 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 no. the man that killed you. Evan, Wait a minute. your eyes open Hold up. Is he a man with his arms bound with long blonde hair? Like, oh, you're weak. You're awake. We just crossed oh the border. Zoo, you're finally awake. Oh. I said they caught you across the border. You're on a little horse-drawn <laughs> wagon being drawn to a stone fortress. Yeah, you get shot and it immediately fades into the intro to sky. <laughs> Same as us and that thief over there. Did you guys come to my funeral at least? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, yeah. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. Sobbing, sobbing all the way. Sobbing like a goddamn really baby bat. I think... Um, See, I like, a, I like a little bit of like a cliffhanger. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't help myself. I like, I like to... When the movie just ends, and I'm like, oh, what happens? Uh, like, I, I hate cliffhangers, but I appreciate. I, he I, likes. I he it. likes a good. I love. Uncle. I love getting edged. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, you did not. I, I, I hated that. But please that. tell me your cliffhanger. Um, did, did not see that coming. I that. like. I I like the scene of did like. Charlie and Dakota like getting out of the car and then like running up and then seeing Julie just like or Julia just like sobbing and then like Jack's like either getting there or he is there and then being like, fucking arrested by the police because he matches the description. There no, is that, there is that <laughs> moment of like we almost like hold hands and then like just as it's about to happen, we hear a gunshot in the woods and it obviously breaks the fucking moment everyone's like panicked for a second the cops like swarm in and uh david shot himself oh shit. perfect that's good. that 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 was an ending that it. was in my mind <laughs> i hate it but it's good i hate it i hate him i hate david i do i, I hate him a lot actually <laughs> yeah fuck david dude david yeah sucks. yeah fuck david him there's a reason why i made it, you, i pushed Jackson? in his face what do you think 
How do you think this wrapped up? I liked it. I still thought it'd be like a good ending where like Inception where like mm -hmm. you have <laughs> no fucking idea what the like Fair. you just see Jack not Jack, sorry, you see David fucking face down in like the snow as it ends. And like everyone's walking by him, like thinking that he was like a victim of the shooter. Oh, and no. then he just opens his eyes. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, hate, hate, I hate, hate that. that even more. Thanks for that. bringing that into my life. I hate God. I hate, I hate that. <laughs> and then that. the next, and then the next session of Searching in Silent Falls, Dakota goes missing. No. Oh. Charlie's <laughs> back with a vengeance. <laughs> and then, and then it turns into a level zero D and D game instead of uh, the worst. Yeah, everybody oh who survives after Dakota, everybody who survives after Alice is killed gets to be a level one character. <laughs> no, level zero. Level zero well, sounds I mean, like... Okay. That would make and a four-person party. Let's do it. I, I would love to do uh, Julia in a full-on campaign. Oh, Dakota, God. Uh, Dakota, in the meantime, didn't make I, I, it. And then uh, you guys, uh, that's what we're going to the session tonight. Um, yeah. You do hit level one. I guess you guys <laughs> need to pick your characters' uh, classes, and we'll, uh, we can chat in the middle of the week if you need some helpful stuff, and just let me know. Uh, I'm anyway, going to we'll be a barbarian. To a new format. I'm going to be a barbarian. Okay, what's up, Floyd? I was going to say, I'm going to be a. Yeah, I, I probably should get going. I've already been here six minutes longer than I should have. So I love you all. Tea. I'm, I'm going to be the first one to uh, hit the door. And in honor of my girl, I'm going to give one last uh, fuck you and fuck you and fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. But not you. You know who you are. I love you. All right. <laughs> I love you too, man. <laughs> wow. No, okay. I'm going to sign off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, have a I'll good night, that. guys. I'll remember that. Good night. Fine. Bye. <laughs> Banished. Hey, I, I give that as a point of endearment. <laughs> I say I fuck it. because I love that, that, That's all I'm saying. I'm rem I, I remember this. <laughs> Please, no. Be You're my, my favorite. Funeral. <laughs> how, how, you interpret that, how you interpret my remembrance is entirely up to you. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Okay. I'll send you a gift basket in terms of <laughs> apology later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was a night. That was a fun night. A four and a half hour night, at least by my standards. But either way. Uh, for all those currently in chat still, um, Clint, how are you feeling right now? I am doing great. I had a rough, busy, taxing day. I was kind of worried coming into this game with how I would feel about it, and I've been pleasantly surprised. It actually really gave me a big boost I didn't know I really needed. And I feel good. feel great. I really want to do more of this for you all. I do want to do more playing one-shot, unique games like this. And if I had to give a final review on this game, it would probably be, I want to see a solid 10, maybe at least a nine and a half out of 10. It was good. It was really freaking impressive. My only regret is I can't really see too many of my friends in the area that I could get to actually play this with me because I really do want to play it again. But that all said, yeah, it was remarkable. I'm so glad I, I did this. I got this all recorded. Uh, <laughs> that's what I have to say about that. Really, a fucking good game. If you're ready, go and uh, check out their Kickstarter. It's still going live in the next five days. I'm, I'm a, I'm a backer on it. I am glad for it now. I'm gonna get myself that expansion. I'm gonna keep it, you know, on the side until I can be, use it sometime in the future. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad everyone else who's lurking also. Hope hope you all enjoyed it as well. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I think you know, I should probably finally do this. I can't think much more. I can really uh, stretch this out because it has been going long enough, and that's that's fine. That's fine. But thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. This was a wonderful hangout. I am looking forward to Monday because I, do, I do, did, was, did want to talk about Denji so badly, but I'm just kind of bummed I didn't get a chance to do that today. That's fine. We got Monday. We got Monday to do that, and then on Tuesday... I'm thinking of taking your request there and King and trying out Night Shift. I just have to go and you know, buy it and, well, download it and all that jazz. Maybe that, maybe that hard. <sighs> and then, yeah, uh, probably next Thursday, probably just do another choir, maybe another Hollow Knight. So, really got to go and be those Bantus Lords. And, you know, work on a certain creature creator and sister location in the meantime. But until then, if you haven't already, 
whether you're watching this live now or later on as a recording. And you, you, honestly, if you watched it this far in, and it's been like, it's a, almost gonna be a four, almost five hour long recording, you really should consider, you know, hitting that like button, you know, subscribing to, to me, see more of this, hi, or leaving a comment and stuff like that. Uh, just honestly, if you're still this long, I think you like hanging out with me. <laughs> but not, that's okay. I still think you're awesome and you're beautiful either way. You all have a great rest of your night. Huh.